Good evening, everybody. My name is Cameron. Lovely to see that there is some conversation currently occurring. It's great. It's a lovely Wednesday. How is everybody? I hope everybody's doing rather well today. There's some wonderful things to chat. Bro should be here Saturday. I hear that boy was sick. My buddy Lycos was sick a little bit. I hope he gets better. I'm sure he's getting better. Excited to see what's being mixed. Yeah. It'll be fun. There'll be some fun things involved. It'll be good. And as clinicals, they're going well. How many clinicals? I think she's got three total, but she can answer those questions. She's great. She's finally back with me. She's actually in the other room. She's over there. Oh, I love her. I can almost see her face, and I would be able to if the door to the bedroom were not closed. Oh my, how much I missed her. And I'm so glad she's back. She said something, but I couldn't hear her. She didn't scream loud enough. I am hard of hearing these days. I'm getting old. 24 years young 24 years young i hope everybody is doing wonderfully i was attempting to look for inspiration today i really so over the weekend i went home got to see i got to see my grandfather in celebration of the new year oh my god wait a minute happy new year <laughs> it's 2022 now oh i hope everybody's new years went well mine was pretty cool we just kind of late we just chilled we laid back we played some board games it was lovely we played Three board games total. One is the classic Red Dragon Inn. It's a wonderful game for wonderful sorts of people. You all take turns as different characters in this tavern called the Red Dragon Inn. You buy drinks for people, you gamble with people, you, you, you fight each other. It's a wonderful game. We also played one called Wits and Wagers, which is kind of like a trivia betting game. And it's not like you have to know the answer to be able to place a bet on, on, on something. It's, it's actually quite fun. It, it's a, I, I honestly, I'm not a big fan of like betting games or trivia games, but somehow this meld between the two was, was good. It was a very good one. That's great. First stream of a new year. Oh, absolutely. And hopefully many more to come if I can get my schedule under control. But alas, we shall make it work. We shall make it work. And the other game that we played was based off, so it's just a, it's just a board game, but it happens to be flavored and textured with characters from the last airbender the game is called oh my cabbages and let me spell that for you O O H, comma my m y cabbages c a double b a g e s exclamation point so i don't it's not like oh my cabbages it's it's not oh oh it is oh my cabbages it's like oh pause and then my cabbages so that's apparently how that game is but it's a it's a terrible terrible game it's a bad game. It's completely unbalanced. Although, it's nice to see... You don't even get to see, like, your favorite Avatar of the Last Airbender characters. At least not from what I can find. I mean, well, I guess you do. You can take... You can... You, uh, you can... There are various different characters that you can find in it. I didn't find Aang or Ong, according to some. I didn't find Sokka or anything like that. I think I played King Boomy was my character. And I'm not up to snuff on my Avatar, so... I'm probably getting some of those names wrong or not realizing the, the, the potency of these particular characters who have made their appearance in this very lackluster game, which just seemed like a kind of a ploy to get people to buy it. People look at it and they're just like, oh my god, Avatar The Last Airbender? I have to have this! And then they buy it and, well, then people are disappointed. People get disappointed for stuff like that. Astro blocked Ree because she got, like, mega toxic on New Year's and then, oh, we've helped your friend propose to his girlfriend. See? Yin and yang. There are bad things that happen, and then good things that happen. And sometimes those bad things are good things in disguise, and sometimes those good things are bad things in disguise. It's the it's the the duality of the world. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Oh dear. Sorry the meme game didn't go well. King Boomy suits you well though. I honestly I wish I wish I could like agree with that, but I honestly need to go back and watch the entirety of Avatar. See, like for shows like that, I feel like I want to go back, and I want to watch the entire show. However, just knowing that there's so many seasons of it, or so many episodes of it, kind of like, it makes me feel, like, intimidated to actually go and watch it. And, like, I just watched a six-season show the other day, so I have no excuse to not watch Avatar The Last Airbender, or Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, or Chowder, or Adventure Time, or Gravity Falls, or the infinite, like, the infinitely long list of shows that I really, really want to watch someday that are cartoon-related that, for some reason, I haven't convinced myself to watch. I will at some point. I will. Ugh, 61 episodes total. Oh, it's not that bad, I guess. Oh, Bree's got some problems and couldn't handle her anymore. I was literally making you upset whenever you would think about her. Dude, take the edge off. Take that bad stuff. I don't remember. It was some minimalist who's just like... This does not spark joy, and then like throws it in the trash or like sets it on fire or something. I personally vibe with the whole 
Whatever does not spark joy gets either set on fire, personal favorite of mine, thrown into a, cash, a trash can. If I can do it, like, with great force and make a very loud sound, I'm totally cool with that. But oftentimes I don't want to wake people. So that's a close second. And then, like, the third one is just, like, just, like, leave it behind. I mean, it's not very eventful. Like, when you leave the past behind you, it's like... I guess you'll never look at it again. You could, like, depending on whether the past behind you is a combination of the first option and the third option, it could be on fire behind you. It could be on fire in a trash can and behind you. And then with the corresponding explosions that happen afterwards, it'll look like a really, really awesome, like, like, um, you're walking away from the flames in the background, like, just like that. And, uh, oh my god, what, what director does that with all the booms? Oh my god. Directed by Michael Bay. That's the one. A Michael Bay movie. Your past... Your past sorrows could just be a Michael Bay movie in the background. Re is a trash. Is trash, Michael Bay. That's the one. My goodness. Uh, at least for Avatar, there's not that much we don't include. Korra, it just has the, gra the gravitas of fandom that makes it feel bigger than it thinks. It can be nice to use big things as a thing to do with others, but can also make it a little longer, tough to get through. I feel that. I wish, like, if I was able to sit down and binge watch shows with another person, I feel like that would be good. But Anna's a very busy person, and I've been keeping myself busy, as can be told. I mean... I can't watch TV right now. I'm on Twitch, and Twitch doesn't allow for stuff like that. Yada, 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 copyright stuff. I always thought to myself, like, what if I want to watch TV with people? I guess that just means I can't, like, live stream it, so that'll have to happen, like, offline. Maybe someday. I don't know. I haven't set that stuff up yet, but I'm not totally against the idea. Anyway, it's cocktail time. And as I was perusing for ideas, I was thinking to myself, because over the weekend, I saw my grandfather, my mother sat down at the table before we went off, and she was just like, do you have enough vodka? I was like, I don't. I don't think I could ever have enough vodka. So she put a bottle of Tito's on the table and she's like, you can have that. I was like, okay, I now have more Tito's. Actually, I didn't have any Tito's, but now I do. And then she was like, do you have enough tequila? And I was like, I don't think I'll ever have enough tequila. And she slapped a bottle of Patron on the table. I was like, there's your tequila, a reposado, a nice golden color. I don't spend that much money on, on tequila. It's a nice tequila like that is like $60. I don't, I bought the tequila for mom one time. It was like $60. Oh my God, that is so expensive. Probably the most expensive drink I have in my collection. Unless you account the time it took for me to create my Nochino, which I guess I could probably charge people for that. I'm not going to, though. It's mine. It's my Nochino. Unless anybody wants some. If I could ship a sample, I totally would. But I do not think that is legal, unfortunately. Oh, I can do it through Discord. Yeah, no, isn't that what Discord's good at? I know Discord can be a bit wonky. Just because, and I don't know if it works with, like, TV shows. You can do it with TV shows, I'm pretty sure. But I know Discord, actually, you can probably try this. If you are listening to Spot, if you link up your Spotify account to Discord, and then be on a call with somebody sharing your screen or sharing your audio, Discord has the power to turn off of your turn off your music. It's happened to me before. It's their way of attempting to avoid, like, copyright strikes. Really interesting. It really freaked me out when I was on a call with my friend, and we were listening to music to them, and all of a sudden the music would keep stopping. I'm like, I'm not clicking any buttons here! Who's doing it? And then I looked it up, and they're like, oh, Discord can do that to you. Try disabling hardware uh, acceleration, and you know, there's so many different fixes. If you have that problem, just unlink your Spotify account. It will no longer happen to you anymore. And then when you want to, you just put it back on, if that's really an issue for you. It's crazy. I guess we should start setting up events if y'all are cool with that. I love that. I actually had a drink today, Astro said. It was caramel vodka with Coke. Not gonna lie, it was great. Caramel vodka. That sounds awesome. I've always found, and this is probably a very hot take, that Coca-Cola products, or Coca-Cola specifically, I think goes really well with chocolate flavoring. And so because I think chocolate flavoring goes really, really well with caramel, I think caramel plus Coke, which has caramel color in it, completely different types of caramel, or maybe caramel. Caramel? Caramel? Eh, whatever. Sounds absolutely delightful. But anyway, getting back to the whole tequila thing, or whatever. So, mom says, bam, vodka, bam, tequila. And I was like, all right, well, I got this nice tequila. I'm gonna try to do a drink with tequila. And then Anna says, surprise, and she puts Pop Rocks on my desk. She's like, here's some Pop Rocks for you. And I was like, oh my God, I am gonna mix tequila and Pop Rocks together. So naturally, I did what any what any mad scientist, modern mad scientist would do, and I googled it. I googled Pop Rocks plus tequila, and lo and behold, I found a margarita recipe. But the margarita recipe just wasn't what I was looking for. It called for strawberry Pop Rocks, it called for raspberries, and I was like, I have cherry Pop Rocks. That just ain't gonna gel well. I don't really want my raspberry with my cherry, unless that raspberry complements the cherry, and not all raspberries complement the cherry in my particular experience. 
except for one. I think the black raspberry, but that's, we're, we're getting to that part. And so I decided to take that recipe and make my own spin on it. And then I started thinking to myself, where do most recipes come from? Could I call this my own recipe? If I just took somebody else's recipe and modified it, is that really a recipe of mine? Well, unless somebody else can tell me they thought of it first, I'm gonna call this my own margarita recipe. And I'm gonna lean into that. I'm very happy with that. I will eventually do something with that. I don't know, it'll be great. It sounds amazing. Pop rocks, right? Lorelai can say she's seen Promare and Princess Bride purely from a friend hosting them on Discord stream. Consider trying the same for the Wolf Walkers too. Ooh, like you got it on the disc and then don't feel bad about streaming from the online service if that makes sense. Oh yeah, totally. I would think, I, I honestly would think that if you paid for it, like technically when you pay for something, the it, it doesn't give you a license to like reproduce or to re-stream it, but it's usually for personal use. So technically lawfully wise, you can't really do that anyway. But like what government figure is going to come by and say like, hey, you have friends over and you bought a disc, you know you're not supposed to watch the DVD with them if they're gonna also put it on their television. And you're not supposed to, like technically speaking, I think there was once a time where I don't, it might've been like, and I might be talking out of my ass about this, but I feel like there was a time where like video game manufacturers were like, no, 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 you're not allowed to put that CD into your friend's computer because they have to buy their own copy. And I think they tried to do stuff like this. I mean, I feel like that's kind of the concept of like region locking DVDs. Like, oh, you can't send it to your friend overseas because, ugh, laws so sorry get your own dvd from your own country like that just sounds like pfft, stupidity but alas oh my god ah i took inspiration from somebody else i like that astro paid for the whole speedometer you know who's used the whole speedometer right oh oh i just got that like in a car it goes all the way up to 200 or so or 180 i think on one of the cars so we're gonna make it happen and i just noticed i need a bowl in order to do my pop rocks things and i didn't grab a bowl so i'm gonna be back in just a hot second please enjoy the sound of me shaking pop rocks as i do so shake it 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 and now as i come back now fully armed with a small little bowl and pop rocks. I'm just gonna take my mouse and put it away. I'm gonna put this thing, I'm gonna put it away. I'm gonna put this thing and put it to the side. Oh, it's gonna be great. So what I'm going to do is I'm just, this is very simple as I can. You know what, actually, I'm gonna put this on top of the yoga blocks. I'm gonna do like, we're gonna do close up time. I'm currently attempting to figure out a way to properly do close ups on stuff. I've got some stuff in the works. It'll get there eventually, maybe. This is my best, this is my best take at a close up. So let's try that. So anyway, I'm gonna rim the, the top of my glass with some Pop Rocks. And the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my Pop Rocks, I'm gonna put them in a little bowl here. That's the way to do it. Pop Rocks makes good maracas. They damn well do make great maracas. And some discs that Lorelei had, strange cones that would limit how many times it could be uploaded on a machine. Whoa, that's wild. Something about that seems like almost like otherworldly kind of like i don't know maybe it's stingy maybe it's freaky um here this is pop rocks in a in a in a tin i don't know they're actually kind of they're kind of popping no stop 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 what are you doing no, you get some afterwards I eat mine. get out of here you go back to work can you hear these popping can you hear them popping anyway i put it up popping. for the microphone no they're, they're making little crackly sounds i swear i'm not crazy we're crazy yes. wow i'm not crazy not at all Oh my goodness. Anyway, so now I have Pop Rocks in my little bowl. That's and the next thing dangerous. I need to do, it's not dangerous at all, don't worry about it. Now I'm going to take my glass, I need some or I need some lime juice, so merely what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a lime. Oh, excuse me, let me do this. I'm going to I'm gonna take a lime, I'm going to roll that lime in my hand. See that lime? I'm not very good at that game. I'm squeezing it, I'm squeezing it and squeezing it. Anna is also helping now. Anyway, it's a squeezy lime, I'm not really using this one for juice, but alas. I guess I'm popping it in there. I'm going to cut this lime right down the center. These are going to be disgusting. These are kind of old limes, so they're going to be a little bit tough. But I only need, I only need, I only need a little bit of the juice. A little bit of the juice. All right, that's one lime. Cool, I cut that. <laughs> I'd cut that with a knife. Now, I'm going to rim my glass with the lime juice so as to give the Pop Rocks a surface to stick upon. Very simple. Very simple technique. Take a look at that. Oh! Take a look at that. How neat is that? You can tell it's an Aspen by the way it is. Ha! Old memes. Gotta love that. Gotta love that. And it appears? Yes, she does. Laura and I can't remember the Pop Rocks actually made the semi-sweet, uh, semi-decent gum, though. Did they? Oh my goodness. 
Is it human the yogurt? Razzle? No, it could be. Matter. It could be. And now Anna can bear witness to anything that spills on the yoga block. I already know he. She already that. knows. Actually, a small little pop rock spill on the, yo uh, the yoga block. That's mine now. You totally owe me three Mmm. Tastes like cherry. Doesn't really taste like cherry. Anyway, now I'll rim that. Well, so the next thing I'm gonna like do, sugar. and I'm gonna flip it upside down. I'm going to capsize this cup. I am going to submerge it upside down into the pop rocks and try to get as much of it, as much of them on the rim as possible. And they are kind of making a little popping sound there. They kind of are. It's not a lot. It's not a lot. I actually think I need more lime juice. No, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It doesn't need to be a lot of pop rock. It needs a ring. Beautiful pop rocks. Put a ring on it. Beautiful. 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 Get some of the pop rocks off this yoga block. Excuse me. Are you serious right now? Those things are on the floor all the time. These things are clean. What are you talking about? Anyway, and this this cocktail doesn't even call to be shaken. It's not supposed to be shaken. Wow, my mouth is... Oh my god, it's feeling the poppies. Oh, it's feeling the poppies. I feel that. Oh, Astro walked into a locker room and seen naked old men. Definitely wish your eyes were burnt now. Yeah, don't do that part. You okay, man? Therapy exists. It's... And it's okay. It's totally okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out my whiteboard because I wrote down notes for myself. Hmm. Rim the glass. Check. Muddled cherries and half a teaspoon of sugar. Let's do that. I've got granulated sugar. Where's my granulated sugar? Right here. It's from Walmart. It says, great value. I believe it. USDA, who's the organic? Okay, great for baking. All right, I'll see it. I'll believe it when I see it. I just need half a teaspoon of sugar in there. I'm just gonna put it in my glass. Boop. Goes to the bottom. Very simple, very easy, very awesome. Amazing. Oh my goodness. RIP Astro, seriously though. My God, therapy costs money. You do not have, sadly. Insurance, but I get you. I don't think all insurance is covered therapy. Everybody should be entitled. Hot take. Everybody should be entitled to proper mental health treatment, just like they are to physical treatment. Whoa, wowza. Somebody called the opinion police. The boy has an opinion. Ah! I don't do therapy because for the same reason, because I feel like it's a lot of money and currently does not come out of my insurance to my knowledge. That's just me. Razzle is different than Pop Rock's attempt to make a make a type that was gum flavored and might have been gumish, but I definitely remember Razzle. I remember Razzle. I just don't exactly know in what capacity I do remember Razzle, whether I actually tried it myself or not. I need cherries. I got cherries. Um, I tried to go to the store and get some fresh cherries. Did not find fresh cherries. Had some frozen ones. We'll use frozen ones. Okay, that's a lot of cherries. That's, that's quite a few cherries in there. Now I'm gonna muddle them. And I'm gonna go get my muddler. I could very well muddle it with a knife, but that's dangerous. And I really don't feel like slicing my entire hand open. That's dangerous. So I go and grab my muddler because we're safe. Not because we make dumb decisions. Although we do make dumb decisions, but we try to make sure that they're safe. That's the way that we do it. My goodness. Ugh, oh, Astro doesn't have insurance. Some would say that's against the law nowadays, but I don't know, I, I ain't the law. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the sugar and the cherries and we're just gonna muddle them together. The sugar is gonna get all nice and happy with the cherry juices. The cherry juices are gonna be like, oh my goodness, I didn't realize I could have so much sugar in me. And the sugar is gonna be like, bro, please don't make it creepy. This is strictly for business. So strictly for business, sugar and cherries are gonna get muddled as best as I possibly can. They are kind of frozen and, but they've been sitting for a little bit. So they had a chance to, they had a chance to thaw just a little bit. Opinion! Opinion time! Yeah, I had an opinion. Once upon a time, I had an opinion. Ugh. Now I'm in jail. <laughs> hey -o. Anyway, so after that, we're gonna actually add the alcohol. Wow! Work put in before the alcohol? You're saying I have to put in work before the good stuff? Hashtag foreplay. Okay, I need one ounce of Chambord. Chambord is a, is a wonderful black raspberry liqueur. And I think the color, that I mostly wanted this for the color this time. I don't think I've actually opened this container before. Mm, here we go. Oh, I have opened this before. And now it is open. And I need a single ounce of it. So I'm gonna put an ounce of it. Ah! Oh, I am legit a quote broke boy. Boy. I love spelling boy with an I at the end. Something about it just seems so meaningful, you know? Once upon a time, there was a meme going around or a petition to ch legally change the name of fire ants to spicy boys. 
with the eye. My goodness. And I was like, I am totally signing this petition. And I'm pretty sure I did sign the petition. Lo and behold, it did not pass. People still call them fire ants. Although I will forever refer to them as spicy boys. And what was more than fun, what was the most funny part about this was that my mother caught on to the meme as well. And so she would go around and every time she would just like, we see an ant or something, she would go, spicy boys, spicy boys, spicy boys, spicy boys. And so me and my brothers would be like, spicy boys, spicy boys, spicy boys, spicy boys. These pop rocks are kind of spicy in a way, but not in the same way. I, although I'm not sure if would my would my tongue pop if I ate and tried to chew up fire ants or or otherwise. I don't know. I'm not gonna try to go down the rabbit hole of attempting to like eat fire ants. It sounds dangerous. Holy hand grenade vibes! Work them hands! It's funny when parents try doing memes. It's true. It's also funny, actually it's kind of cute when my mother, like previously, would try to tell me all the Pokemon stuff. She's like, uh, the Pikachu evolves into the Charizard. And I was like, no, no, no. Charmander to Charmeleon to Charizard. Pikachu evolves into Raichu. She's like, you're right. And now I thought it was the cutest thing. I really appreciate my mother. What else we need is two ounces of tequila. Now it's not that sweet, sweet reposado that my mother had gotten for me. No, it's just a Blanco. That's what we got. We got a Blanco. It's just because reposados are aged in like oak casts. And so sometimes the complexity of that, cause the complexity of that can kind of get lost with a bunch of other things. And I didn't really think that this called for any smokiness or any, any like woodiness. I didn't think he did. So uh, I kept with the Blanco. Although I really wanted to use a Reposado, but I couldn't get, like the mix, the mixologist in me, the bartender in me could not convince myself to put Reposado on there when I had Blanco laying around. So I didn't. And because this is a whole cherry shtick going on here, I felt like it would be completely out of place if I didn't add some cherry brandy. It's not really cherry brandy. It's something called Kirschwasser, which literally translates from the German for cherry water. And it says cherry brandy, technically. It's Kirschwasser. I think it's actually considered an eau de vie. Oh, I think it's spelled E-A-U. De is D-E, I think, or D-I. And then V is V-I-T, as in Vit. Eau de Vit. Eau de Vit. Vit. Beat. Anyway, um, I need a half an ounce of that. Don't need much. Don't need much. It's just for, it's just for, um, it's just for fun purposes. That's how it be. My goodness. Oh, they make the meme, they make the meme, the parents, when the parents try to do the memes, kind of make it either, either a hundred times better or worse. And there is no in between. I feel that. I feel that. I always, I totally vibe with that. It's a wonderful thing. Is it trying to do a meme when in fact they can attempt, they, the attempt can be the meme itself? Oh my goodness, that's a lot of alcohol. It's really not a lot of alcohol. I mean, it'll be fine. I, there's only one. There's only one drink. There's really only one drink tonight. Now I need one and a half ounces of lime juice, and for that I'm need to. Oh my god, look at how long this lime is. Wow, that's a pretty long lime. Like compared to the other ones, like this guy's a shorty. This guy's a longy. My goodness, what a hot lime. Hot lime. I'm gonna put my cocktail glass to the side. And uh, I'm actually gonna take myself off the zoom mode because me attempting to squeeze all the juice out of these limes might take a hot minute. It tends to it tends to be the case. I'll put my yoga blocks down. My my cutting board gets front and center. Don't need my muddler anymore. Not how that works. My goodness. I also need to get my squeezer. Wow, I was woefully unprepared for anything to occur here today. Goodness gracious. It's just how it be. Oh, that right there is a Hey Arnold head head time headline headline headline. Get it? Headlime? Headlime? Oh, wait a minute. Not headline. It's not a pun. It's not a pun on headline. It's a Hey Arnold head. Hey Arnold headline. Line. As in like, the head looks like Hey Arnold. I get that now. I thought there was a pun here. There was no pun. It was a reference. It was a pop culture reference. Somehow I mixed the two up. Somehow I did that. Incredible. Anyway, I've cut up like three limes here. This should be more than enough. It should be one and a half. Maybe more? I don't know. I'm gonna go get my squuzzy squuzz. I don't really feel like... Nah, just kidding. I'm not gonna use my squuzzy squuzz. I'm gonna use my hands this time. We're gonna take it back to my primal roots. There we go. I'm gonna go carefully squeeze the lime. I don't wanna make a mess. The thing is, I don't wanna make a mess. I'm kind of making a mess. But I'll clean up the mess another time. I have guests coming over tomorrow. I have to prepare. We're all vaccinated. It's okay. It's okay. We all got boosted. We all got vaccinated part two electric boogaloo. It wasn't very electric. My booster shot was not very electric. I walked into the pharmacy that my mother works at and they were like, dude was like, hey, Cameron. Like, hey, what's up? I'm like, you live in Philly? 
like, yeah, like, where in Philly? Like, Philly, Philly. He was like, all right, nice. And then uh, the shot was over, and so was the slightly awkwardness of speaking to your mother's co-worker, who I'm sure she speaks a lot about you, but you have never spoken to him in the least bit. It's just, it's all kinds of... Eh, it's whatever. See, this is taking a while. It's okay. Probably should go get my squizzy squeeze. Maybe I'll speed this up later. I don't know. Ah, that's a child's... That's a child's amount of alcohol. What am I talking about? Yeah, Anna. What are you talking about? There's like nothing in here. This could be straight up Everclear. Wouldn't be the first time. Would not be the first time. I mean, I've had... Let's see. I've had... I really don't, haven't drank... I haven't... Drunken? Drankin'? I can't English today. I have not drank a lot of drinks that involve Everclear specifically as an ingredient, except for one, and it was a frozen daiquiri. And the daiquiri was very good. There were three alcohol level options, and one of them was like the top, and the top one was totally... They labeled themselves as grain alcohol at 190 proof. Like, sorry, that's Everclear, and it will forever be, and you cannot convince me otherwise. It is just always and forever Everclear. You know, last I checked, one and a half ounces of lime juice was supposed to be in like two limes. I'm down to like two and a half right now. Three, two and a half right there. I still got quite a bit to go. I might have to cut up another lime. <sighs> My goodness. My goodness. It can feel like a lot based on the number of different alcohols. Child's amount of alcohol is zero. Zero. You're right. That's for zero. No ki kinder beers in America. I mean, technically speaking, I met somebody the other day who was like, oh yeah, yeah, when I had a toothache, my mother would just put a little whiskey in my mouth and oh, I'd feel better. Or that's like, that's like the way to do it. Uh, that same person also said that I think they have, was it a brother-in-law or something? That was like, yeah, so this dude, oh, maybe it was their father or whatever, I don't know, was like, I have been drinking a single shot, two shots of whiskey every single morning for years now. And technically when you do that every single day, when you have two drinks a day, seven days a week, you get clinically labeled as an alcoholic, no matter how good your health is. Uh, specifically, as it turns out, the alcohol in question was whiskey, specifically Black Velvet Canadian Whiskey, which I happen to have some of. I actually quite like. I like Black Velvet. Black Velvet in that little boy's smile. The little boy that you were putting te tequila or whiskey or whatever into the mouth of because are you an irresponsible parent or did you just get it from your parents? Does it matter? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna put this back on the block so we can get back to the beautiful, beautiful yeah, shot. Get on in there. Get on in there. Oh, but it's gotta be. In Wisconsin, your parents can serve you alcohol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think that's the same in New Jersey, too. I feel that. But it's gotta be your parents, and legally, kids can drink with parent supervision, but, but, Lorelai maintains the zero. I feel that. I started, I was drinking under the supervision of my parents once upon a time. Anyway, now, lime juice, finally. Finally, we get lime juice in there. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some ice to this. This is a stirred drink. This is a stirred drink, lo and behold. Not something I have done in quite a while, if at all. So I'm just gonna kinda just keep taking ice cubes out until it looks like that there's, there can be held no more. The glass cannot possibly take any more ice upon it or else the, the fabric of reality itself will basically just cease to exist. Like, it's not gonna unfurl, it's not gonna unravel, it's just gonna, like, disappear. Like, everything that you experience, everything that you thought you were and are, will just be, will just be gone. It's just gone. Fill it up with ice cubes. Beautifully fill up with ice cubes. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add more. I'm gonna add more stuff to it. I'm gonna add more cherries. So I need more frozen cherries. Here they come, here come more frozen cherries. Hello, hey, 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 frozen cherries. Get in there. There we go. Come on. There we go. There's mm. frozen cherries. I'm just gonna kind of dabble it in there. Please ignore the piece of hair that was on my finger. Not mine, probably. It's definitely mine. I'm gonna put that in there. And then what else we need? We also require. We also require some lime wedges. And I only have one lime left, so please excuse me while I go cut this. Just kidding. Please don't excuse me while I cut this. Instead, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it up here. You'll see my face, but nothing more. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm just gonna cut a lime into wedges. Oh, actually, you know, I'm gonna cut it on a different surface because it's getting really wobbly right now. It's okay, I'm not gone. I'm just on the floor. I don't wanna make a mess this time. Whoa, the knife slipped, but not onto my finger. Remember, never cut towards yourself, children and adults. Actually, never do that. 
Just don't cut towards yourself. Don't do as people who cut towards themselves do. It's not safe, it's not cool, and you're not cool if you do it. It's not cool. It's not cool if you smoke cigarettos. Not cool, it's dangerous. It'll kill you one day. But like, honestly, who are we to hold ourselves above the vices of life if it makes us feel good? Oy vey. Morals and stuff. This is a really tough line. I'm actually having a very hard time with this. All right, but I got it. I got all the wedges I need. Hello, <laughs> hello and welcome back. I'm gonna put lime wedges in the top. We're garnishing the hell out of this. Oh my goodness, that is filled. I don't think I've ever had a drink so filled. I mean, I have, but it wasn't made by me. Not recently. My goodness. No, no alcohol in restaurants. Or like in restaurants? I've had, I've had a sip of my parents' alcohol in restaurants. Come on, come on. We're all crazy. We've all been crazy kids once in our lives. That's crazy. Can frozen cherries be used in place of ice cubes? Yeah. I mean, it's gonna taste a little different, but I'm sure you, technically, if it doesn't make you barf, or otherwise a chuck, anything is legal. Except to the purists out there. Some, some purists would be like, no, you can't do that, you can't do that. By the way, I'm preparing one more part of the garnish here, and it's not working out very well. I'm gonna put it in there anyway. I bought a bunch of these the other day. Come on, get in there. Oh, we're making a mess. Oh, we've officially made a mess. Oh, goodness. But it looks beautiful. Don't spill. Ooh. I also just realized I completely forgot to stir it. So hold on, let's do that. Come on. Very carefully stir. Firmly grasp it with the stirring thing. Firmly stir it in your glass. Firmly stir it. I'm not very firmly stirring it, to be honest. This is not working out the way that I intended to. Remember, I am no professional. I label myself as an at-home mixologist. It sounds fancy and it makes me feel good. Anyway, I think that it's absolutely beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Let's get a light on this thing. I'm still working on angles around here. Let's get a light on this. Ooh, isn't that... Oh, it looks kind of blue. Wow. No, it does look kind of blue. Oh, it's because there's a blue umbrella on it. <laughs> I'm the silly one. I'm the stupid one. It happens every so often. Anyways, we did it. We made a cocktail. I call it the Popping Cherry Margarita. Why? Cherries. Pop Rocks. Tequila. Popping Cherry Margarita. I'm doing this backwards. Hold on, we read the other way. Popping Cherry Margarita. It's probably okay. It's probably okay. I'm unsure how vital the ice melting is important for a drink rather than temp maintenance. Nah, I don't think it super is. I mean, I think the idea, usually from what I've found, ice is either there to chill your drink or it's there to specifically water it down after a certain amount of time. The advantage of ice is that it melts. So as it melts, it can dilute the drink, it can bring out different flavors of the drink that might have been like hidden by other aspects of the drink that might be overpowering. So like, if you got two flavors and one's like this and one's like this, with water, this comes down to here, this goes out a little bit too, but there's less of a gap in between, so you're able to like kind of parse out those flavors a little bit better, supposedly. My tongue isn't up to that level, that's just what I've been told. Anyway, I'd say Cherry Bomb, but that name is taken. Oh, Cherry Bomb has definitely been taken. I bet I can look into the... Let me see. I got my big cocktail books over here. Let me see if the Cherry Bomb cocktail is in here. Bet. Bet it is. If not, if it's not in here, like, I'll just consume all those Pop Rocks. You don't even have to request me to do it. I'll do it. Where's Cherry Bomb? Oh, do I have to... They don't list this by... They list it alphabetically, but by spirit. Are there any Cherry Bombs in gin? Cherry Fizz, no. Vodka, Cherry Bomb. Chili Willy, closest thing I can find. Wow, okay. Whiskey, we've got Champion, nope. Rum, ch 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 chocolate eggnog, nope. Brandy, ch 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 cherry blossom, cherry brandy fix. No bombs yet, oh, I missed one. Vermouth, there's no cherry in there, just country club. Tequila, ch 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 changurongo. I don't think I pronounced that correctly at all. What else have we got in here? Let's see. I'm going to turn the other side so I can also look at chat too. Ah, oh, 
Chilly Willy is a cursed name. Yes, and I'm sure it, also, it is also a rather cursed feeling. I just won't get into that. I don't want to get into that. I don't even want to imagine the Chilly Willy or any of its consequences. Uh, liquor cocktails. Ch -ch 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 cherry Cola and Cherry Kitsch. And various other chocolate ones. Other spirits. Ch -ch 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 Fire lighter. No. Wine, cherry, Christmas punch, champagne. We got Cheshire Cat is the closest ch sound. Sort of, kind of. Sparkling wine. No. Beer. No. Cider. My goodness. How is there no cherry bomb in here? There's no cherry bomb in here. Non-alcoholic. The cherry kiss is the closest thing. Alrighty then. Well, there is no cherry bomb in here. Wow. I'm actually very surprised about that. A thousand and one cocktails. And a cherry bomb is not one of them. I have many other books. But no time to go through them. So alas, um, these prop rocks are mine, and I'm going to I'm going to consume them. Or just some of them. They've actually kind of they've actually kind of stuck to the plate. There must have been some residual moisture on there, so I'm just gonna take take a bar spoonful of that. Hmm. I mean, it's pretty good. I like pop rocks. It's not making me choke like last time. Does this sound come through on the microphone? Sorry, I just I just realized while attempting to do that, my mouth was just bare open to the camera. Maybe a little NSFW, but this show is not for kids. Look at the alcohol. Not for kids. Not for kids. That would explain why I heard some pop on contact. Yeah, a little bit. Mmm, it does. All right. Love that. Well, it's all gone. No more. Anna's very angry at me right now. I ate all the Pop Rocks. I did. They're all gone. Why did you eat them? All gone. Look, Ma. No, no, no crumbs. I ate all my food. Never Just kidding. It. I would never call her Ma. That's crazy. In any case, I feel like I've vamped on long enough without actually getting to the cocktail. My goodness. I just talk around this cocktail a lot, don't I? Anyway, to resummarize, before we get back into this, this is what I am calling... The popping cherry margarita, made with a rimmed glass, the rim being stuck on with lime juice, populated with pop rocks, hence the popping part. Uh, muddled cherries and sugar on the bottom, about a half a teaspoon of sugar. We've got one ounce of Chambord, the black raspberry liqueur, or some other equivalent. Two ounces of tequila blanco. I've got Bribon, that's just what I got. One half an ounce of Kirschwasser. The brand on that is Schneiderer, so I feel that. And then uh, half an ounce of lime juice. I did mine fresh. You don't have to. We garnished that with more cherries and a couple of lime wedges. And in my case, a little, a little umbrella because it was sitting there. I was supposed to use it on last week's cocktail and I just never did. So that's just how it's gonna be. Sad boy. Angry Anna stream, the moment when you managed to bite a Pop Rock right before they pop for the big snap. RIP Anna. I too desire Pop Rocks now. You Everybody owe does. Me a dollar. Everybody does. You have your own. You're literally eating your own right now. Oh, that's not Pop Rocks. Wait, didn't you have your own? Yeah, I ate them. <laughs> you know, this is... This guys, moment... Guys, guys, this, this moment, is a Pop Rock. It's not a Pop Rocks, it's just a thread. <laughs> this legitimately is that one episode of Spongebob where Ch Patrick's just like, You ate my chocolate bar. And Spongebob's like, That was my chocolate bar. You already ate your own chocolate bar. He's like, Now I'm gonna starve! <laughs> literally what just happened here. Like she's like, she's like, I had my own Pop Rocks. I had my own Pop Rocks. I ate all my Pop Rocks. She's like, you didn't save any Pop Rocks for me. Now I'm going to starve. Right? Are you going to starve? No. No, because she's eating the Fruit Loops bar. She can't possibly starve. And if she does, says she does, a little over dramatic. That's how it is. My God. She almost got away with it too, if it weren't for this pesky meddling kid here with the mustache that extends beyond the length of the screen to the point where you can't even see it anywhere in the screen. You can't grow facial hair! Just remember, I can't grow facial hair is only one hypothesis. The other one is just the fact that my mustache will always exist off screen. Always. It's always. Funny. That's why she's with me. What? Supposedly. So let's actually try this thing. Um, it's I made it a little bit of a mess, but I'll buy Anna more Oyoga blocks because I owe her that. Oh my goodness. Okay, first note here. Please note, this is the first iteration of this cocktail. This is the first time I've made this, first time I've even found the recipe. And here are some initial thoughts to improve it for next time, probably. I added a half of ounce of Kirschwasser because I knew it was going to be a little potent. But I didn't think it was going to be this potent. It actually, the first thing that I get off of that is the Kirschwasser, which is kind of like this effervescent, not effervescency, kind of like, 
whatever you describe mint as being, it's like a, it's like a, it's a light, airy flavor of cherry. It's kind of like if you bit into the peel, but never actually like munched on it. Like if you smell the peel of it, I don't know, I'm probably talking out of my ass here, but like, I feel like if you smelled the peel of the cherry, not that you would peel a cherry, but never actually bit into it, that's kind of what it tastes like. It tastes the kind of the way that it smells. If that makes any sense. Smooth, smooth, spicy, but sweet. That's fine. Nah, I'm not, I don't have the right vocabulary. I will admit this. I do not have the right vocabulary. But alas, it's a good thing the human life expectancy is about into the mid 80s. So I guess I have the rest of my life to continue figuring this out. But that's the first thing I get. The first thing I get is a lot of Kirschwasser. So I think a half ounce might actually be too much. That or maybe it's kind of watered down by now because I've just been kind of talking nonstop and will not shut up. Obviously, the sweetest part of the drink comes from not only the Pop Rocks, which are which are currently popping in my mouth, but also the Black Raspberry Liqueur, the Chambord, the little Holy Hand Grenade. This little guy, this guy's really sweet. It's sweet, and it's got a little bit of a sourness to it. There is a bit of sourness to it, and I think it comes absolutely from this Chambord here. And that's, it's nice. It's nice. It tastes like black raspberries. Honestly, I don't think I could describe it any better than that. But it really, like the drink as a whole, doesn't really taste any less cherry-y because there's a little bit of black raspberry in it. And I think it worked out rather well. The tequila, I think, is just a good base to it. I think it's kind of lost. I don't think the tequila really shines through much at all, except for the fact that you can kind of tell it's tequila. You can really smell the tequila off of it. It really just smells like cherries. The sourness definitely comes from the lime. Oh, but the sour just the sourness comes from the lime juice too. I don't know. The sourness kind of combines with the black raspberry, so it makes it kind of taste a little like sour blackberry or sour raspberry, not blackberry, raspberry, black raspberry, blackberry, if you will. But it's a little bit of the sourness. So like I've written bitten into raspberries before, and they've been a little sour sometimes. Sometimes I pick a little raspberries off of my, uh, in the woods at my parents' house. They have raspberries that grow wild, and sometimes they're a little sour. It kind of tastes like a sour black raspberry, but over top of that, it's the taste of the cherry and the Kirschwasser. And really, it could be more cherry -y. If I had cherry liqueur, I probably would have used that in place of the Kirschwasser because it's a little more it's a little more raspberry -y than it is cherry -y, but. Alas, even with the cherry flavored pop rocks on the edges, it still kind of has that feeling. Yeah. Ugh, oh, I gotta learn French if I want to include and in, increase my vocabulary. Oh my goodness. Mint is a weird flavor, I agree. Descriptive words in French. Sour tart? Sour tart? I think. Mmm, it's tart. You're right. You're right. It's tart. It's not sour. It's tart. It's like a sweet, it's like a sweet sour. More so on the sour than the sweet, but more or less equal. I would consider that tart. It is tart. Absolutely right. Better one than I could have popped it. Popping cherry macarena success? Macarena. <laughs> Popping cherry macarena. Margarita. Needs a little work. But I think overall it's good. I honestly think this would probably be good with a straw too. I don't know why I'm trying to mix it with this little thing here. If I don't if I don't continue to sip from this, the ice is going to make it overflow. It's good. I think it's delightful. Popping cherry margarita. It's good. Uh, if I put, let me see. I don't really rate cocktails. I don't rate them. But I'm gonna try to. Attempting not to give myself any bias points. Because it's really not that good. But it is tasty. I'm gonna give it a solid... I'm gonna go like... Seven? I'm gonna go seven. Like seven out of ten, I guess, probably. I give a seven out of ten. It's not too bad. It's not supremely complex. Not really. Kind of dominated by one particular flavor. It's a good flavor. Some starts kind of get lost. The more that I drink it, the more I lose the Kirschwasser. So maybe I did need a little bit more to it. Maybe it just wasn't stirred properly. Very possible. Not so sure. Not so sure. I choose to do a dance with the name components. I chose to do a dance with the name components. It kind of looked like the one. I don't speak Spanish. Is it even Spanish? Probably yes. Hey, Macarena, consume! Hmm. You know. You know it. I already have my Pop Rocks. I feel like that's sad. I'm gonna roll the Pop Rocks. In any case, thank you all for joining me for Cocktail Wednesday. Still attempting to come up with a better name for these segments. I'm attempting to. I am always trying, but maybe not trying enough. It all really depends. It all really do. The cherries may have been muddled, but their flavor was not. Heyo. Dab on the haters.
Thank you, everybody, for cocktail time. As per always, suggestions for cocktail time brought to you by my brain and the many books that I have. There are many. I like that. I like having all these books. I feel like on a, on a little bit of a meta level, on a beyond level, the one of the reasons that I continue to stream is because I have way too many games I want to play them all. One of the reasons why I put the cocktails on the stream is because I have way too many cocktail books, way too many cocktail recipes, and I don't want to build them all because a lot of them are just kind of either like spin-offs of each other. But I want to try. I want to try to get there as best as possible. And that's, a, that's, part of the, that's part of the glamour here. I love that. Suggestion! Suggestion! There's always room for suggestions. I tweet sometimes. My DMs are always open. The chat is always open. I can't always read it there. You know, actually, this reminds me. This reminds me of something. Very odd Twitch policy that I read once upon a time in a blog post. Supposedly, the streamer is responsible for everything that happens in chat. I am personally held accountable for everything that happens in chat. But in addition to that, that includes when I'm not online. Which is kind of interesting. That seems interesting. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Goodness. Happy Hump Hour feels mildly cursed as an alternative. Cause like it's hump day! Oh my god, that's a great idea! Mm, we'll workshop it a little bit. The suggestion is I should start picking a few and then posting about them. Which ones you should make for Wednesday? That way there's more things going on in the Discord. I have been attempting to do more on that Discord. I say attempting, just kidding. I've been I've been doing the same amount as I did before. I suffer from a little bit of social anxiety. Let me be honest there. I feel like I'm almost prevented from putting some things on there, the, like random thoughts, because like, I don't know, I don't want to bother people or whatever. I'm a little socially anxious. But I'm getting over that. I've been getting better. The fact that there is a Discord server and the fact that I do talk at all in it is like miles above where I was like this time last year and the year before correspondingly. It's just, it's just good. I feel a lot more confident on that. Ah, oh, you're definitely my top favorite streamer. Yes! Now hopefully... What's the next goal post from there? What's the next goal post? I guess, I guess, uh, what is it? 132 followers. Yeah, that's the next goal. Woo, party on, party on. So anything you see is amazing. I appreciate you greatly, Astro. You were just a, you were a ray of sunshine for me. And it's not just because of the whole red hair. That helps though. If I had the balls to, to change my hair color and not like constantly question myself about all the other like, oh, but it's gonna, t I'm gonna have to bleach it, and it's gonna be bad for my hair in general, I'm gonna have to use different soap and whatnot, like, that. too many questions. The one question is, do I wanna dye my hair? And the answer is yes, but not right now. So eventually, one day. Cam streams are always good time. Oh, how many? How many? How many what? How many? I don't remember what that question was about. In terms of how many. Oh, in any case. I think it's time to switch it on over. It's gonna take me a little bit, just because of the, of the usual. I, I actually, actually, you can't tell right now, but my desk is completely different now than it was last week. I completely changed my entire desk setup. The, there's no 3D printer here anymore. The 3D printer is over there. My computer is no longer there. It's actually over there. The monitor that is on the monitor arm can actually swivel. I'm looking at the monitor right now. It's crazy. And then when I go to the other side, I'm just going to turn it around. And the microphone is attached to the monitor. It doesn't sound super duper bad. A ton of things have changed. And I did it all last night in my most recent set of Absolute Mania. In any case, thank you all for joining me on Cocktail Time. It's time to see you on the other side for the graveyard keeping. As per usual, those sticking around on the stream, please enjoy the parrots. Everybody else, dude, party on. It's your time to shine. All right, all right, y'all. I'll see you on the other side. Peace out, y'all. Hey, oh, party people, what's going on? And we're back. Probably. Yeah, we're probably back. Feels like we're back. I feel back. It's graveyard keeper time. It's time for keeping to the graves. Keeping to the gravestones. I killed a man last time, apparently. Apparently, the work was to kill a man. And I killed a man. I killed him good. I killed him bad. Things happened. I, I don't know. Do I have to do anything else for this boy snake? Help snake with his ritual. Was that not the ritual? Was there... <laughs> Is there more? <laughs> I don't remember what there was. I know the dude came by because he was a vampire hunter. Oh, does Snake want to become a vampire? I'm seeing the picture. I'm, I'm seeing... I'm seeing the motivation here. Honestly. If you wanted to become a vampire and there was one person stopping you from being a vampire, wouldn't you stop them? Would you stop them? I would probably stop them. If I wanted to suck blood from people because it was my livelihood, because I wanted to be alive, or rather not so alive, rather undead, if you will... I would probably get rid of the people in my way. One way or another. Either get rid of them physically or get rid of them politically. It really depends. I wonder what else we got going on today. On Upward Day, I can 
I can talk to the Inquisitor. The Inquisitor. Oh, the Inquisitor doesn't really have anything new for me, so eh, that's fine. What else have we got? Uh, convince Farmer to let his daughter go to the concert with Miss Charm. I remember that one. The Farmer... The Farmer's daughter to let... The Farmer to let his daughter go to the concert with Miss Charm. And what did Farmer want me to do? I built the mill for the mill guy. Convince Farmer... I want to I wanna go down, down that path. I feel like that is necessary. What else is the thing? Hmm. My goodness. Snake killed me. Then I had to kill someone else. Vampire rumor happened as he claimed to have powers over life and death. And probably the blood fountains he wanted. But, you know, hey, you know. I uh, don't see the rumor. See, that's the thing. You say, all you say is, I want money and power. And then next thing, everybody's just like, oh, burn the witch. Oh, burn the vampire. Oh, burn the politician. Like, come on, guys. We didn't want anything bad, per se. You didn't want to do anything wrong, per se. Just didn't want to do things that were necessarily right in the eyes of God, the law, or really anybody else. Hmm. Indeed. Hey, Inquisitor. Oh, you're heading up to the hill now. Ah, uh, what else did I need to do for you? I think I was making... I was making gold star burgers for you. That's why I was getting the gold star onions. We needed gold star onions for gold star burgers, for gold star inquisitors, for gold star sacrifices. It's a gold star kind of world. And I'm actually, I, I feel I feel like this would be the perfect time to be like, ah, you get a gold star, but I don't have any gold star stickers. At least I don't think I do. Hey, Miller. Oh, you fixed it. You can mail your weed here for free if you want. I don't remember what accent this guy got. I hope this helps me get Elisa's paper. I can mill wheat now. Cool. Wheats, enter. The door's closed until like 80. I get so tired without any work to do. Use the mill. You... Okay. I don't... Okay. I guess I can get it instantly. That's pretty good. That's a good deal. How much wheat do I have, actually? Wait, how much wheat do I have? I have 40 wheat of it. How? I don't even know how I got that. Yeah, I'll use the mill. Yeah, I'll use all the mill. Now I got all this flour. Holy Jenkins, look at that. Look at all that flour. Huh. All right. Don't know how I did that. Can I, like, collect from this field? How can I not collect wheat from the field by swinging my sword? Literally every single game ever does that. Hey, farmer. Your daughter, Alyssa. Can she get... I hear the mill is fixed. That's good for business. And Alyssa really does want to go. Love my daughter. I want what's best for her. So she can go! What a nice man. What a nice dude. At least just paper. <laughs> Here's a picture of my daughter as proof. Sir, this looks nothing like your daughter. You dare insult my artistic abilities. Just saying, man. You picked the life of a farmer, not an artist. I wanted to go to art school. I was denied from the school in Vienna. Pal. Don't go down that path. Whatever you do, don't go down that path. Can I talk to you yet, buddy? Ugh. Guess not. Trade? Anything? Can I sell my... Can I sell my stuff? No? Okay. Hunter's medallion. Don't know what to do with that. Maybe I bring that to Sneaku. Maybe I bring that to somebody else. Maybe somebody else is interested in the Hunter's medallion. You know, I haven't talked to... You know, I haven't talked to the Inquisitor in a little while. Maybe... Hmm... Or maybe the Hunter's Medallion is going to give me access to, like, a fort. Maybe somebody's going to be like, You're super powerful now! Therefore, you are totally allowed to go beyond these walls. Maybe? Or perhaps there's some higher power out there who's going to smite me with lightning yet again? Unfortunate. Truly unfortunate. <clears throat> but as I put my good little face on... Hey, um... Can I come in? Okay. That's fine. I'm gonna go talk to the Gypsy Baron. How you doing, Gypsy Baron? What you selling today? Got anything for me? Okay. If I get a certain friendship with you, can I go into your tent? No. No? Okay, there's there's absolutely nothing to be gained here specifically. That's okay. This is okay. What about anybody else? I don't know. It's upward facing day. I guess I'll kind of make my way back to you. Um, dead horse? I'll, I'll try to visit my buddy, the Inquisitor. How much is my... Actually, what is my current friendship with him? It's at 75. That's pretty high. I think really the only thing left for him is to... is to give him those burgies that he really wants. 
Give me what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. I really, really, really wanna sink my teeth into a nice burger that came from an actual living being. Or like impossible burgers. That's good too. I like impossible burgers. I don't think like. I don't know. I think of it this way. If you go into eating, like, a vegan burger, expecting it to taste like an original burger, then, like, unless you are a vegan now and, like, really want the taste of that original, then, like, just come to the realization that it is a different meal. It is not the burger that you want. If you want the burger, you gotta go with the meat. I think, I think so. I have, like, every time I've had something like that, it's, it's always been, it's always been different. I'm looking for an eternal burning coal. Did you tell me how to find that already? I heard from one of your guardsmen that you might have an eternal burning coal. I needed to reunite with my family. Family? I had a family, but they were all burned. My wife and my son burned alive in my house. My house was lit on fire by the great blast, and my son was so young, I even couldn't find his remains. But I found this coal among the ashes, and it's been burning ever since. Fueling my anger. I'm sure the explosion was caused by a witch governor cultists. I founded the Inquisition to avenge all evil. I can't give it to you until I've burned them all. Maybe one day with your help, but not before. Whoa, okay. I apparently need to help you further. By cooking burgies, probably, right? Mm, probably. Buffet, I need five. Oh, I only need five gold star burgers? Hold up a second. Let me... I think I got five. I think I got five. Let's go back to Sweet Home. I'm pretty sure I have at least five. Oh, I only have three. Okay. Do I have any more Gold Star Onions? I need to go get some Gold Star Onions. Oh, not to mention that if the Impossible Burger is cooked on the same thing that normal burgers are, they're actually not vegan. True. The, the, you have to wipe the oven clean for it to be truly vegan. But that's one of the reasons for the choice. It, uh, yeah. But not meats. Not meats can be fun to try. Yeah, I mean, to be to be honest, like, I got, I feel like I got no problem with fi trying not meats. Like, to me, because I'm not vegan myself, it's just another thing to try. It's another thing that could just taste really, really good. I, For all I know, I might have a preference towards vegan meat as opposed to, you know, not vegan meat. It's very possible, but I, you know, I have yet to have enough of either to really know for sure. Oh, I need gold star. I ran out of gold star onion seeds. That's why I ain't making no onions. That's probably an issue. I gotta get myself some onion seeds. Onion seeds go onion seeds. What else can I do in the meantime? Can I package up flour? Silver star pumpkins. I got... I got pumpkins. I got, let's get some silver star pumpkins. Let's get some silver star pumpkins. Love to have silver star pumpkin. Ah, oh, plenty of silver star pumpkins. My goodness, look at all the silver star pumpkins. Oh, I am totally gonna start me a pumpkin patch. What a great idea. What a wonderfully devious idea. And I ran out of some seeds for that. See, I'm not a good farmer. This is why. This here is why. I am very bad at telling myself I need more of something. I'm very, very bad at telling myself you need more of the thing that you need. Or else you will... You are bound to run out. Very bad at that. Can I ship up cabbages too? Do they have to be silver star cabbages? No cabbages. Nope. Not a thing. Nope. What else can I package up? Complex iron parts. I've got pieces of marble. What in the lot? I got bowls. Bowls upon bowls upon bowls upon bowls upon bowls upon bowls. But I think probably vegetables is going to be the good way to go about doing that. I've already pretty much got half of the pumpkins. Lentils, I still don't yet know how to grow. I, I am totally at a loss for how to how to grow lentils. Uh, but I got some better onions. I got more onion. Onion? I don't know. I feel like onion. Onion should have a French pronunciation. And if it is, if it does have one already, it is onion. That or I'm totally, totally out of line. Could very well be the case. How much onion did I need? Oh, I haven't researched onion yet. I got energy. I'll research some onion. I got more flour. Put it in there. Cool. Anything else not researched yet? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You haven't researched it yet? Oh, I got a bunch of wood wedges so I can bring them to the quarry. The quarry so I can get stone, I guess? Let's go to the quarry. Let's go to the quarry. Feast your eyes on the quarry. 
I don't think I needed marble. I think I needed stone most of all, although I could very well be wrong about that. Completely unsure. I have plenty of wedges. Let's do 20 pieces of stone in total. I'll put the rest of the wedges over here, and I'ma just, like... I'ma just, like, do what my... My, uh, my, my father did before me, my father, my father who was the miner, not the miner, everybody was miner once upon a time in their life, but my father was a miner, a stone miner. No, not a miner made of stone, dude, it's a miner, as in somebody who works in the mines, yeah. Just kidding, my father was not a miner. He was a miner once upon a time, but he is no longer that type of miner. He was never a miner in the, in the kind of wacky whack pick kind of way. He's a musician. He does music stuff. He also he also works on actually technically he used he used to not just be a musician. He works for a record company now too. Truly living the dream. One day I'll get to that point. Maybe maybe one day I'll be at that point where I'm doing everything I love. Everything I love. I love firmware development, don't get me wrong. However, there is still something to be desired for. I will admit that. I can't exactly pinpoint what it is yet, but I'm not completely satisfied by my current position but i think that's a good thing honestly if i've been if i'm completely satisfied with where i am at any given time i think i might be complacent and i'll have to think about that to myself whether i'm complacent or not or whether i really am just in the perfect spot i don't know in any case so it's astrology day i haven't yet talked to the astrologer yet or maybe i did did i get the proper item from him Hunter's medallion. Let's go. There's no harm in going to the lighthouse. Hey, buddy. Trade? Buddy? No? Okay. Hmm. Help us to find a way to earn Miss Charm's free... Oh, that's why I need... Miss Charm Farmer Daughter Girl thing. Alright, that makes sense. A Hunter's medallion. What can I do with this Hunter's medallion? There is definitely going to be, like, one place that I need to use this, and it's not... I'm not gonna know until I really get there. Bet. It's gonna be something like that. It is most definitely going to be something like that. Hey, you. I don't know what you are, but I like you. Dig? I haven't talked to you in a while, Dig. What's going on, my uh, my very high friend? Ding dong, bing bang bong. Dig, I am. Am I? I don't know, dude. Really, who are any of us? If you think about it, we're all just dust in the wind, eventually. And if time is really a construct, and that the space-time continuum is actually a lot more interwoven than we thought it would be, then technically, now is the future. The future is the past, and the past is by nature of the transitive property also now in which case i am dust right now because i will be dust in the future i don't know i do anything on these beaches this is a cute little spot here it's cute i like this it's nice and cute can i set a fire over here i can cook here anything in particular kebabs like kebabs can i fish here i can fish here i am going to most definitely Find a fish. I don't think I have ever been successful finding, uh, getting a fish. I still have not figured out the fishing mechanic yet. But if I wait for a little bit, maybe something will come about. Maybe if I just sit here patiently. Do I have to wiggle the joystick at all? No, doesn't seem so. Maybe a trigger? Trigger? Button bumper? Whoa, whoa, I forgot I could do that. If I press all the buttons at the same time, I can see... <laughs> I can see all the debug information. That's pretty cool. How's my computer right now? Ryzen 3? Yeah, I gotta get that fixed up. I don't need integrated graphics no more. Oh, good stuff. Them's my specs for anybody curious. I'm still not getting anything. I feel like, do I need bait? I guess I probably need bait. Honestly. I don't know. Anyway, so how was your day? I'm just fishing. Honestly, this is probably the most realistic fishing I've had in the game. Because, and I've been fishing before. Most of fishing is just kind of sitting there waiting for something to tug on your line, so to speak. Nothing's tugging on my line, though. And I feel like, I for one, like many, would not be happy unless there's something tugging on my line, so to speak. So, being that I'm not catching any fish here, I'll move on to another pond where there are many more fish and a much bigger sea. 
Sir, how do you plead? He was given his line a quick tug. Disgusting. Hey, Beekeeper, would you be interested in this hunter's medallion that I have? Would you be interested in anything? Oh. Yeah, I feel that. Anybody, anybody, hunter's medallion? Maybe if I show it to the... Oh, I had the hunter's medallion when I talked to the captain. El Capitan, buddy, I'm a hunter now. Yep, still sad, still disappointing. Can't talk to you. You're Elisa, the hunter's daughter. Miss Chain, anything new since we last spoke? No, of course not. Make me buy recipes from you for a third time. No, no, no. Didn't have to do anything for Wagner. No, 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 no. That's fine. Hmm. I, do I have some extra flyers on me? I don't have extra flyers. Oh, I have these. Okay, but that... Hmm, tomorrow. Sunday! 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 I'm gonna go up to the quarry. I'll go up to the quarry so I can quarry some stone and make it look pretty so I can make more headstones so I can make my graveyard pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty stones. Pretty, pretty gravestones. Pretty, pretty headstones. Pretty, pretty graves. Pretty, pretty bodies. Pretty, pretty ground. Pretty, pretty awesome. Pretty good game. And that one's called Graveyard Keeper, everybody. Thank you. I will be here for the duration of the evening. Maybe not evening for you, but definitely an evening for me. I would say that I'll be here all week. Technically, in the whole internet has the entire world connected sort of thing, I will be here all week and forever until I die. Which sometimes I feel like is a good thing, although some celebrities would beg to differ. Some celebrities just want to rest. Some celebrities just don't want to be celebrities. And to be honest, I feel that. I feel like once you get to a point where you are a celebrity, can you ever really go back? Maybe. Would you want to go back now with your new, newfound, like, I don't know, everything? I, I mean, I, I don't know. I've never had a, ten, like, I, I've had tastes of stardom, I suppose. Like, I've been in the newspaper once. I was young. I was, uh, I was doing a square dancing lesson. I was doing a square dancing, like, segment of my elementary school gym class. And, um, <laughs> and so, uh, and so I got into the paper dancing with one of my friends. It was pretty cool. I don't think my name was called out specifically. I guess I've been in the paper for graduating, high school. I've been in the paper for performing and performances. That makes sense. Makes sense. Are one hit wonders still celebrities? I would say no. I feel like I feel like you can you can unbecome celebrity. Like, and if you were just a one hit wonder and everyone just kind of quote unquote forgot about you, then I think you're not a celebrity anymore. I think if people are asking where you are now or what happened to you, I don't think you're a celebrity anymore. I think you kind of, you've gone beyond the point of celebrityness, I guess. Look at a bit of the churches. Could the graveyard be any better? The graveyard could definitely be better. How big is my graveyard? How good is my graveyard? 41, we are lacking. What about the church though? Church seems better. Check failed. Oh, okay. Anybody in my, no, okay. What else can I build around here? Can I build more pews? Build better pews? Incense burner. I need some polished brick of stone. I can make incense burners. Oh, I have more space for stuff, it seems like. That's pretty cool. Another confessional. More church bonches. Chest. I don't know. I feel like I need more. More theological things. I need more blue points. Get more blue points. Actually, let's do a thing, right? Uh, actually, I don't want to do the current sermon that's on me. I'm not really collecting bodies right now. I'm not really paying much attention to that. I have all the blood that I needed, at least for the uh, for the ritual, it seems. I would rather have prayer for imagination. These words will boost my inspiration. I like that. I'm going to make some stories. I'm going to make a really, really good stories. And so I'm going to preach about making stories. And people are going to come to my church service and be like, I like your stories. And I'll be like, I don't have any stories. But thank you for coming here and bolstering my self-confidence. I'd like to say a few words. I want to make stories. I want to make really, really good stories. You really like my stories? Our church is great. Everybody I'm like, yeah, nice, nice story. Nice story. Let us pray. All right. That was all right. It was pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty okay. My donations are welcome. Thank you. Great sermon. Great sermon. Great sermon. Beautiful sermon. Beautiful, great sermon. 
Okay. Well, now I have this effect. What is that effect? Uh, inspiration. You have a better chance to write something of good quality. I've always had a good chance to do something of bad quality. What are you talking about? Great quality writing skills. No idea what you're talking about. Anyway, time to make... Oh, I don't actually have a lot of stories. Oh, I got plenty of stories! Got plenty of stories. Let's make those stories. Make those stories the best damn stories you've ever heard. It's gonna be the best of stories. This might be the best... This might literally be the best story anybody's ever written. Like, quite honestly, would not be surprised if this was the best story ever in the world. That one was silver. Clearly not that high a quality. But maybe this next one will be. This one is about Johnny. Johnny was lackluster. This one is about Tommy. Oh, I have... I need more paper. Tommy needed more paper. He was in the bathroom. He did not refill the toilet paper. Now Tommy is alone. Let's get some clean paper. I don't need that much paper. I think I'll just make paper on like a need-to-use basis. There's no need for me to like stockpile paper. At least I don't think so. I don't think there's a need for that. All right, Tommy, now that he has his paper, is too tired. Tommy is too tired. Very unfortunate. Time for Tommy to rest. Tommy is me, sweet home. Excuse me, I need more food. Excuse me. What am I making food-wise? I got more flesh. I could probably use more meat. Use more meat? Put the meat in the chest. Bam! Put that meat in the chest. You don't need it. I got bread. What else can I eat? Uh, I have plenty of I have plenty of jelly and honey, so I'm gonna make green jelly. I'll make that in the morning. I don't know if that gives me a lot of like. I need things that give me energy. That'll hopefully give me energy. Hoping it gives me the energy that I require. Give me the good. Hmm. Delicious, delicious cherries. Delicious. 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 Actually, it's kind of got a cherry on top. Where did that cherry come from? Is it a cherry? I want it to be a cherry. But is it really? It's only got honey and slime in it. Where where does that cherry coming from? It's forming from the ether. In any case, now I have all this gel gel. It gives me energy. I can research this. I can also research the onions. Completely forgot to research the onions. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, onions. Oh yeah. Tomorrow is Miss Charm Day. I'm going to talk to Miss Charm about her charm. <laughs> I'm not going to say that it was an impression because it was not an honest impression. It's, it's just offensive. But it could still be funny. Offensive things can still be funny. Or rather, however, how uncouth they may be. All right, so I want to make a really good story. What best chance do I have at a good story? That's like 10%. That's 43%. I really want to make a I really want to make a good story. So I'm going to try to I'm going to try to make a good story. I'm going to try to make a really really good story this time. 77% chance. Cross my fingers. Roll the dice. Here we go. Ah, oh, it was not a very good story. Oh well. I still have a couple of these. Eh, 77% chance of getting a good one. Might as well. I don't have enough energy, but now I do. Got some blue points. That was good. I think most of the blue points I think I got from uh, shaving up. Um, it was shaving. Uh, oh, no, it was made in the books. I had all of these chapters and stuff. That's what I was mo using most of that stuff on. Put the paper over here, too. I can also make flyers, too. Flyers also help. I can do that. I don't have any soft cover. I have quite a few of these. I can make soft covers. Actually, oh, what else can I do? What else can I do? I can also create stories, too. I completely forgot about that. It's a 70% chance of making a pretty good one. That's that's pretty good. I, I need... I, how many... How much good good does that give me? Good story? It gave me one. That's like... That's okay. Not, not good, but it gets the job done. I'll just be continuing to work on stories all night. All night long. All night long, all night long, all night long. Oh, I don't have hard... Oh, I can make different levels of hardcovers. Let me try to make a really good book. How do I make this hardcover stuff? Does this... Does it make it worth it? It can. Oh, 
better be a damn good one. I didn't run out of faith. I have plenty of faith for this. I can make that kind of hard cover with a bronze star. Oh, I see. You need the soft covers to create the hard covers, and then you level them up. And a tanning agent? Do I have any tanning agent? I don't think I have tanning agents. Can I create that, though? I know I can buy tanning agent. I'm pretty sure I can buy that from Clotho. Or did I just go? That's growth enhancer. Tanning agent? Have I discovered that yet? I really haven't. All right, well, I'll keep with the soft covers for now. I really have no reason to continue onwards with that. I know I have quite a bit of skin over here. Let me go grab some skin. Give me the skinny dog. What's on the page? Poetry. Dog. That's deep. I got skin over here, right? I got plenty of skin. Let's take four of that skin. That's really... It's the best thing I can use skin for. When I skin your dead body for profit, just know that I'm going to be writing books for it. I think that's metaphorically a good thing. I think that's totally worth it. Honestly, if my skin was going to be used to educate the next generation, I'm into it. Also, did I not pick up faith? I thought I picked up faith. Oh, was I using faith on something? Oh, it required 10 faith to make a story. Wow. Okay. Did not realize it took that much faith to make a story. Wow, that was... Oh, what a bad deal. What a really bad deal. Not a fan of that. Not a fan of that at all. Wow. Oh, well. Well, time to continue with this. All right. Pigskin paper. Here we go. Make more paper. Oh, but I don't have soft covers. Oh, but I can make soft covers over here. I think I have enough to make six. So let's make six soft covers. And I'll make six stories. That sounds good. Oh, I need more stuff in my mouth. Put it in my tummy. And so what is this supposed to do? This this prayer that I've got going on here? Like, it didn't really help me. You have a better chance to write something of good quality. I... With a 77% chance that I still didn't get a gold. I have a good... I have a better chance. It's just a chance, though. That's all it is. Just a chance. I have 0% chance of writing a good story. Or maybe it'll be silver this time, right? It's possible. Oh, yeah. The books is what give me all the good stuff. Yeah. That's a lot of work for some blue points. I think what I'll try to do is I'll try to put a lot of points into the church stuff because getting the church and the graveyard to a higher level seal feels feels like a priority. Because I feel like because I had to increase the level of stuff for a snake. So I also feel like I need to do the same for the uh, for the, the bishop, the archbishop or whatever. It just feels it feels like it needs to be a thing. So, I'm gonna lean into it. Sometimes my hunters are right, sometimes they're wrong. Where did I put all these books? Did I not have more books? Oh, goodness, why do I have so many books? I wanted them for the points. I can decompose them into points over here. I really don't need these books. I really don't need these books. I'm using them for blue points, and I'm apparently also using them for science. The world will always need science. So, let's just... Let's just keep going with science. Do I need faith to... Yeah, I do. Do I need faith to study this pickaxe here? Yeah, I do. Okay, well, I guess that'll have to wait till another time then. Whatever. That's fine. That's fine. Hmm. I'm not gonna go all that. Got plenty of blue points now. Now, what, aside from this stuff here, would be good for spending it on? I'm not really interested in embalming right now. Uh, there's nothing else here that I need to worry about. The faith is kind of what I'm looking at. Random text generator, that zombie stuff. Playwright, actually, you could just find... Uh, I'm not really worried about that right now. Paper production. I can create clean paper and paper glop. I can just research that anyway. I like that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, and printing press. That feels good. Printing presses seem important. Maybe not everything else, but printing press is definitely important. Befriend. Befriend. As in befriend the bees. Smithing, some other stuff over here. Engineer... Swordmaster. I don't really need Swordmaster stuff. This is a prayer for excellence. I get more money, stuff like that. I can build a water pump. Don't know if I need that. Ah, yeah, yeah. Not really. 
And this is this is fine. Scent of gold. I'm a, I can find precious metals and ores more often, but it's still a matter of luck and energy. I still have 120 of that stuff. Until I need the wood stuff, I will pass on it. So I'm going to go fully into this whole theological stuff now. So let's go with prayer for donations. I don't need money. I don't need that. Uh, I could use more uh, wooden prayer station blueprints for the lawn. That sounds beautiful. I could use more stuff for inside. Illuminate the faith. Better pews. Soft church pence. It'll cushion your bottom. Got things in the yard. My gravestones bring all the boys to the yard. It just does. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. They just bring them all to the yard. And I'm like, it's better than yours. You're damn right it is better than yours. And I think the rest of my points will probably go over to these monuments here. Because they can give a lot, a lot of points. These ones give 233. Three. This is 244. Four, four, so that's like one more. Hmm. They also look like really, really cool. So now I'll try to get more blue points by carving stone. There is always a need for carved stone. Oh my god, I need to talk to Miss Chain. Or, uh, what's her face? I completely forgot to do that. Dead horse. Hi there. Hi, I'm here. I'm here. Hi there. I have the papers. <laughs> I almost completely missed that. Here's the paperwork. She can go with you to the concert. Wonderful. We just need to... Oh, plus two years. That'll make everything a little easier. I completely missed that last bit of text. Hmm, the correction looks sloppy. It's pretty obvious that someone corrected the number. Now I need an aristocrat to countersign the paper, but I don't want to ask just anyone. The wrong rumor could be the death of my reputation. Maybe you could get some aristocrat papers? Then I'd only need your signature. Wow, that looks pretty illegal. You're one to talk. I bet you get up with all sorts of illegal stuff at your graveyard. Besides, it's not like I forgot to thank you, my sweet. I don't like it, but I guess the ends justify the means. I need aristocrat papers. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I need aristocrat papers. I know that costs money. Oh, that costs money. But you know what I can sell for money? Burial papers. I can sell that for money. I can sell these packages and uh, foodstuffs for money. That's good. Aristocrat. Aristocrat. Aristocrat papers. I need 100. For this, I need to buy for 12. I need 12 gold pieces. I can sell my wine tomorrow. That'll give me quite a bit of coin. How much do I have right now? I only have 45. It's not really, it's not really a lot. Let me go check out my farm. And see if the farm done did anything good for me. Do I have any carrots? Use more bodies. I know those bodies are rotten in there, but uh, I can burn them for burial certificates. That's always a good thing. That can always be a good thing. Pumpkin. Pumpkin, pumpkins. Now. Oh, did I not plant these? I didn't plant the onions. Completely forgot to plant the onions. Oh, and I got my pumpkin seeds back. Excellent. The luck of the farm. The luck of the farm. How many... Uh, I don't know how many pumpkins I need. How many pumpkins do I need? I need a total of 32 pumpkins. I'm pretty sure I have 32 pumpkins. Gotta have 32 pumpkins. Pumpkins really aren't that difficult. Oh, I'm shy. I'm shy of the pumpkins. Shucks. Put the onions in there. Oh, I'm selling the onions, though. I can sell these onions, because I'm only interested in using the gold star onions. So the silver star ones, I can just... I can sell. But how many do I need? I need 44 of them. So I'm not yet ready for that either. Unfortunate. Oy vey. Okay, so... Hmm. Hmm. Let's take this stuff out of the chest. I'll keep it with me so that I'll be very... I'll be raring and ready to go. For that stuff. I don't need this crop waste on me. Just destroy it. I don't need it. I can probably go up and make more wine, so I'll go up to the vineyard and I'll get more stuff. I might actually be able to get more wine for the next day uh, before the merchant comes on down. Come on down and buy some quality vineyard wines. It's good for you. We're running a business here. That's what it's all about. It's all about running a business. And uh, I keep forgetting that I'm supposed to, supposed to give the seeds here so that I can make my zombie do it for me. Uh, are we are we having a problem here, sir? There we go. I don't have enough space for all that. But what if... If I put the stuff in there now... Oh, I still don't have enough. I don't have enough? Oh. Well, shucks. Okay. Did not realize that. Alrighty, then. Oh, and I don't have the note for the... The gold star. Oh. Well, I can buy some from the merchant. The cost of doing business. Alas. 
Alas, alas, alas. Did I get any gold stars? Oh, they're the gold stars. Sweet. Uh, I sh I'm debating on whether I should just buy more grapes. Just buy more grape seeds. I think I think I should focus on making more money and stockpiling. So I think I, I won't do that this time. Not just yet. I had more grapes in here. Oh, I actually have a bucket of the oh, I got a bucket of the gold stuff. So I might I can make more I can make more red wine by the morning. I totally can. Just gotta work, work, work. Take that up. Put them in here. That's a pretty good chance. 80% chance? Pretty good chance if I ever saw it. And I got some more berry ferment in here. Got more diamonds in here. I forgot that I had diamonds. I needed the diamonds for the sword. I remember that. I found them, I think, down in the dungeon. Oh! I remember! I need to meet Snake down at the bottom of the dungeon. Oh, I remember that now. Okay. Actually, you know what? I've got a little bit of energy left. Let me just go down into the dungeon and collect stuff and get a little bit farther down. Take on a couple more enemies and then when I come back up, it'll be merchant time. That's what I'll do. I need to meet Snake at the bottom of the dungeon. That's what I needed to do. I remember that now. I'll go do that. I'm gonna go do that. Dungeon level 8. I'm like halfway through. Alright, come and get me, you bastards. I am ready for whatever you've got. Maybe. I maybe not. Let's go up into the up into the up. Up into the up. It's actually kind of almost morning. I don't know if I should be up here. Let me use the wrong time for this. I do have things that I need to accomplish today. Like selling things. Hello? Oh, a bunch of blue. Oh, did I go the wrong way? Maybe I've already gone this way. I don't know. I'm speaking too soon. I'm speaking too soon. I'm sure everything is sunshine and unicorns. Hey, look stuff. Oh my god, I forgot the explosions. Whoopsie. Oh, I forgot. Whoa. That was a lot of the bad stuff. Wow, I took a lot of damage from that. Hey, what's up? All I need is one. All I need is one. Give me the good stuff, guys. Give me the good stuff. Oh my god, nope. Not like this. Not like this. Oh my god, not like this. Or perhaps exactly like this. Hey, come here. Go ahead, you do your thing. Come on a little closer. Lady, let me whisper in your ear. I'll tell you, I gotta tell you all the things that you may wanna hear. I'm a graveyard keeper. I keep the graveyard. I keep it secure, wonderful, and extraterrestrial. That's right, aliens. And I don't have anything that's gonna keep me good. Oh, I forgot. I can't actually use the waystone here. Let's see if I just don't die. That'd be pretty cool if I just don't die. Hey, what's up? Oh, God. Oh, my God. You're throwing webs at me? I knew you could do that. Oh, my God. I'm gonna die. All right, fine. I'm gonna go back up. Fine. Fine, so be it then. I'm gonna just go back up to the surface. I'm dying. I do not want to die. I'm losing energy. Oh, crap. I don't remember if I start losing health if I'm low on energy, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of jelly, make myself, make myself feel just a little smidge bit better, and then I think we'll be okay. I went up already. I need to go back down and to the side. And then to, to the place. Take me to the place that I wanna go. Actually, uh, I need to go to, I need to go over here to see if my wine is finished yet. My wine is finished yet, then yay! You're not finished yet. But how much more time do you need to be finished? Is it a lot? Does it need to be a lot? You're like halfway there, alright? I'm not gonna be able to make the money off of you this week. Uh, dead horse. Dead horse. Hey, oh. Hello, it's me. What's up, dude? Her. Take the salty fork. I have a hundred. Okay, I would need that. Oh, you want those dinners too? Forgot about that. None of this. Let's just sell all this first. I need... I need a lot of gold. Oh my goodness. That's, like, not a lot at all. Wow! It's not a lot at all. I need even more of that stuff. Incredible. I guess all the money really is in logistics. Makes sense. Uh, did I grow any more, like, pumpkins yet? Any more pumpkins? Nah, it's still gonna take a little while. Alright, well, guess I'll... 
guess I'll die. I'll go to sleep. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Oh, I can actually eat these cherries now. Pretty good. Nice cherries. They've been sitting in my freezer for quite a while. I'm surprised that they still taste good. Oh, I see. I sleep a bit longer when I have less health. Naturally, because I have died. Or I am dying. I can sell the rest of the wine next week. Maybe I should put my resources into flyers to advertise? Nah, it's true. Snake is not over here at all. So sad. Gunther, do I have anything to tell you? I haven't talked to you in a while. Tell me about the resurrection ingredients. Yeah, I know. I know. I knew about that already. I guess nothing useful. Oh, I can't go that way. Why is this... Ugh. Dead ends. I don't need none of that. There's no need for this stuff. And no need for this shit. No way, Jose. No way, Jose. Okay. Okay, Jose. Let's get her done. You said you found strawberries? Yeah, there's strawberries in the back. Strawberries in the back of the freezer, dearest. Destroy the teleport stone. No way. I want to destroy this crop waste. I don't need that. Literally don't need this. Electric dust will go over here. Put it in there. Got some other stuff. Got stories to put over here. Cobwebs. Don't know what I used. Oh, cobwebs go over here. Excellent. Love to see it. Some parts of complexity. Fine. I'll go upstairs. Put that upstairs. Put that in this little chest over here. The steel parts I'll put there too. The complex iron I'll put there. The wooden plank I'll put there. I've got plenty of stone. The bat wings go downstairs as well as the paper. Just shorten up my inventory a little bit. Gotta do that. If I want to make it anywhere in life, I gotta have a nice inventory. Also just noticed, I had health potions. Did not realize that. Definitely could have used health potions while I was down there. Oh well. That's fine. That's all fine and dandy. So, let's go. I'm gonna go to the quarry. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the quarry. I'm gonna get these blue points. I want these blue points. Blue points are what I want. Blue points are what I need. Quarry time. Quarry, 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 quarry time. It's a wonderful thing and I love it very much. Do 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 do. Now that I got all this stone, I will polish it. I need a chisel. I don't have a chisel. I I have a chisel. I have a chisel right here. What do you mean I don't have a chisel? What? I can't use my silver chisel? I can't use my silver chisel to do that. That feels... Why? Why? It's the same chisel. It's just of better quality. Okay, I guess I am going to make another chisel. Apparently, I require more chisel. Very interesting. Chisel? 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 That's not chisel. Chisel? Chisel? Chisel. Just chisel. Need some parts of complexity. All right. If that's if that's what you request, then so it shall be. All right. Now I got two chisels. Don't know how long that's gonna last me. All right. Now back to the quarry. I'm gonna do that chiseling thing. I'm gonna do that thing called chiseling. Do that chiseling thing I like so much. And hopefully I can do more than just the one. Yeah, I can make- I can make a bunch. Can I just make as many as I possibly can? I will now just make as many of these as I possibly can. For blue points! I get one blue points out of this. Excellent. Did not realize it was that little blue points. I get a little bit of it. Not a lot, but a little. Polished brick of stone. Can I make, like, the good stuff, though? Polished brick of stone. Can I do marble yet? Oh, I think that's another technology, right? Uh, oh, I haven't done marble quarry quarrying yet. 
the art of stone i think i might need that you know i will continue to work on that i will get all this polished brick of stone i will use that for stuff and then uh we'll see what comes next i don't know how much stone i can actually make hm, i wonder I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. I really gotta wonder. How much stone can I make today? Hmm. Gotta wonder. I've got to, got to wonder. I don't know. I don't really have an answer to this question. I could think about this mathematically, and I'm sure I'm running out of materials, but I just, I don't have the wherewithal to think about that right now. So, whatever. I've almost got 50 blue points. If I just put it on infinite mode... Will I just be able to do this forever? Yo, he's back. His name's Astro, and he's back. Welcome, Vilcoman. Vilcoman, upgrade your keeper. I think I forgot to pronounce the V. Not enough resources. Unfortunate. I ran out of chisel. Ugh. I thought you ended. Actually, your name is Don. Nice. What did I say your name was? Did I say you had a different name? I know what your name is. Maybe that's creepy. No, wait. I'm not creepy. I don't know who you are. That would be awkward. Or maybe it isn't. Hmm. I need more chisels. I'm gonna get more chisels. I also need more green slime. Hmm. Tasty. Can I make blue slime? I can make blue slime stuff. Oh, I cannot. Huh. Huh. I mean, you'd hope I'd know your name. I do. It is done. I have been informed multiple times now. It would be a shame if I forgot. But how could I forget? How could I forget? Honestly, I don't remember. I don't remember what I called you. Oh, wait a minute. I said your name is Astro. That's what I did. It's not actually your name. That's what I said. I remember now. Maybe I should work on making dinner. It doesn't have to be good dinners. Oh, does it have to be good dinners? Oh, I don't remember how many good, good dinners. Ugh. Any movie recommendations? You know, you know it was a really good, you know it was a really good movie. We watched. Let's see, what did we watch the other day? We watched. Oh my god, what did we watch? I watched a movie called Don't Look Up. It's on Netflix right now. It's a depressing movie. I will admit that it is not a very happy movie. It's a very sad movie. Or at least it ends sadly for me. I, I did not very much like the way that it ended. It was very unsatisfying, but it felt very real. Uh, watched that the other day. Definitely a good one. It was a good movie. Oh, for sure. Lorelai's making Rimaru Tempest eludes you yet. Whoa, what? Whoa, I don't know what that is. Tempest? That sounds delicious. Whatever it is. I like that. Making Rimaru Tempest. Oh, maybe that... Oh, eludes... Oh, it eludes me yet. Making it eludes me yet because I'm not the best cook. Alas, it's true. Timothy was your favorite. I don't think I missed the first half of the movie. I came home uh, when I went home over the weekend. My parents were watching, and I was like, "Yo, what are you guys watching?" And they're like, "Oh, just this movie. You want to sit down?" And so I watched like the second half of the movie. I don't really remember who the characters were, to be honest, but I just remember the very, very end being like, "Wow, this is incredibly unsatisfying." But alas, here we go. Oh, Laurel, I was joking on the blue slime. He's I got reincarnated by his slime. Oh, I never watched that anime. Oh, the long-haired kid who says the prayer. Oh, I like Timothy. Oh, I did like Timothy. He was a cool character. I just like the fact that you would look at him and be like, I, I think that this kid is a certain way, and then be like, nah, you know what? We've all got our secrets. That's his real name. Oh, that's cute. What a nice name. Timothy's a good name. He was a cool character. I liked him. I liked him a lot. He was very true to himself. What the hell is this and I think... Doing? In the end times, it's important to be true to yourself. What was that, dearest? What are you talking about? This basil is the basil is getting Bob the basil is getting very territorial. He is going after Menthol Man and Pietamo. It's, gonna it's gonna kill everybody. Oh, menthol oh, Man is very, wrong. very impatient. Okay. I came back here to create more chisel. I need more chisel. That's what I came back here for. I should also sleep, but I am not yet sleep. Not yet sleep. Not today. Not sleep yet. Some would say sleep is for the weak. Although, you might be wrong. You might be wrong. Thumbnail chisel. 
Nice. That's his real name. Timothy's real name. In the end time, I'm gonna I'm going out with alcohol and sex. Honestly, might as well. Let's see. If it were the end times, how would I do it? What would I do? If if today were the last day, I think I would definitely attempt to conjoin myself one last time, so to speak. Conjoin? Conjoin myself. That's the wording I'm choosing today, it dearest. Really weird. It does sound very weird in any case. If I got 48 hours left to live, I'm selling off everything. I'm going to sell literally everything off. If I can get... I'm sure the stock market has crashed at this point. But I'm going to sell it all. Why? Well, actually, actually, it depends. If I had 40 hours left and I knew there were going to be people after me, this would be a different story. But if I, I and everybody else had 48 hours left, I would sell off everything. Um, and I guess spend it on something. I don't know. Skydiving? Skydiving sounds fun. But I, I could do that anyway, even if I wasn't perishing. Um, I really... I really don't... Wow, I'm actually kind of at a loss here. I don't know what I would do. If I had 24 hours... If, if everybody had two, two days left. I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyone who thinks plants are peaceful are mistaken. Plants are not peaceful. Actually, actually, Anna, did you just touch the basil? Yeah. Because I can smell the basil now. Oh, it's not... Wait, what are you doing with... I'm making a new infusion! Oh, Anna's making a new infusion. We, she's been getting into water infusions recently. We fill up a giant decanter and she throws stuff into it. It looks like lemon and basil. Lemon, basil, and strawberries. The last not one too bad. Sucks, so I have to do it that sounds wonderful. The last one she did was lemon, lime, and mint, and apparently it sucked. I just think it was a little heavy on the lime. No, I don't think it was bad. it too much like lemon. It I, hurt my tummy. I think it was too heavy on the lime, to be honest. No, huh. it was too much... Oh, but if two, two days left, why am I selling stuff? It's worthless when the world is going to blow up. Not if I'm the first one to sell it. Aha, uh -huh. see, if the stock market hasn't crashed yet, money still has value. At least that's what I think so. Although I'm not an, an, an economist, so I probably am not very correct on that. What did I come back here for? I came back for energy. I need to make food. I need to make food. It's upward facing day. It's inquisitor day. I need, I need to see if the farmer sells gold star onions. I need gold star onions. I also need pumpkins, so... Pumpkins. Get those. Pumpkins. Pumpkins. Onions. Onion. Onion. Yeah. Onion. It's the best way I can describe that feeling. Oh, I have enough for multiple onions. Oh, wonderful. Uh, who needs cabbages when you have onions? Nah, screw that. Onions. Onion seeds. Onions. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Feels good. Anyways. Hope the infusion goes well. I hope so, too. I'm finding you to have a drink. Getting some shrooms and taking one last trip. Nope. Honestly, if I had access to shrooms... I, I, I feel like... I feel like... Anna, please... I feel like if I had to choose, if I had to choose between spending it with my loved ones and taking a trip, I would spend it with the loved ones, family, friends, and fun. But if I didn't have loved ones, if they were already gone, if I didn't have friends, they were already gone, I would totally go out hallucinating. Astra's got shrooms currently, and you're not sharing with the rest of us? Come on, man, not being very brosome, are you? JK, you procured them, you can enjoy them. Although, some would say, don't get high off your own supply, so... Although, I don't know if I would go all the way back. I don't know if I'd be able to make the journey all the way down there just for a just for a high. I've done shrooms once before. It was a very confusing experience. Would I do it again? Sure. Would I prefer it? Not as of right now. You're doing them on Sunday with your parents! Dude, your parents are just like my mother. I was being... I, ra I was raised in a house where my mother would say... If you want to try anything, feel free to do it with me first. Alcohol? I, I I drank with my mother first. Weed I did not do first with my mother, although I have smoked with her before. She is a wonderful and caring individual, and she, like many else in this world, don't necessarily hold themselves away from, you know, the vices of life. I think that's the best way to live. In my, op in my opinion... I'm the kind of person who I will try anything at least once, and I have done many. Th I have done a couple things which I've done once, and realized that I didn't want to do it again. But I tried it. I tried it. Some things I tried once, and then, well, would totally do again. Shrooms was one of those. 
I would totally do that again. But I'd rather... The caveat is, I would rather be in a safe space. I'd rather be with friends. I would rather be in a state where I'm prepared for it and not have to do anything and else. Stay away from Anna. And apparently I stayed away from Anna. She doesn't want to see me high. No. She's missing out. Astra's never done anything with them, so this will be a first time. Interesting. Have I taken a rice purity test before? I have. My score is low. No, it was like a 60. My score wasn't 60. Mine was like 80 last time I did. No, mine was I'm 90 pretty sure it's the scale is all out of 100, I'm pretty sure. My score was my score was not 60. If it's out of 100, I was not 60. I'm pretty sure I was in the low, the low 30s. I was around like I am not 80. pure. I was somewhere between I'm 90. not a pure individual. You know what? I'm going to write this down. The next chatting, the next just chatting I'm having is going to be taking the rice purity test. It's just going to be BuzzFeed quizzes. That's 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 a thing to do, right? I'm gonna do that. That's a really when good idea. That? What'd you say? When is it? When is it? I don't know yet. Yeah, because you said you were gonna do those once a month. You suck. Though. I said to myself that I would do I would do just chatting streams once a month, and I kind of fell out of that. I need that. I need that. Buzzfeed. Buzzfeed quiz stream. I feel like that would be really fun. So you can find out if you're, what is it? Like, yeah, to see what my, my rice purity test is, or to see if I'm an avocado, or to see what fruit am I, or to see whether I'm a chat or not. I took one test. I think the test was whether I'm a twink or not. No, it wasn't that. Oh, what was it? Wait, whether no, I was oh a femboy. Yeah. I think it was whether I was, I took are a BuzzFeed. Are you femboy or are you like... It was, the question was, are you femboy or not? And the answer was, I am neither fem no, femboy nor not so femboy. I am somewhere in between, apparently. It was like the apparently. superior something that they tried to call it. I don't know what it was. I, there was like femboy or like superior male. And apparently I fell somewhere in between. I'm cool with that. Whatever. <laughs> like, I'm totally down with that. Whatever, whatever works, you know? Oh my god. Astra's in the 30s something. And I mean, taking it to be worth every two years. Yeah. I mean, technically your score can never go up. <laughs> the score can't go down. Like once you start, go the score can't go up. Once you start going down, there is no way back. The rice purity test... Doesn't Wait get any second. better. What if you get amnesia? What if I get amnesia? Then I suppose, honestly, if I got amnesia and I took the rice purity test again, I would consider myself a completely different person. So it's not me; it's a different iteration of me. But I am superior. It's my body still did. My body still did it. But what if I didn't remember? See, the rice purity test is all about honesty. If you're being honest, then that's a thing. Hey, if you don't know whether or not you done did the do thing, whatever. And you say, no, I did not. To the best of your ability. That's total truth. That's truth. That's your truth. Live your own truth, my friends. Live your own truth. When the rice purity tests ask, have you ever done the do with somebody? And you don't remember? Say no. To the best of my ability, I did not do the do with anybody. Because I just frankly don't remember. And I think, honestly, innocence. Innocence is the purest thing. You can't be a born-again Christian. Or Amen. Christian. I can't be a born-again version, but I can be a born-again Christian. Amen. Amen. Amen, brother. Anna cut too many strawberries. What do we say to Anna? All right, everybody together now. Oh, so sorry. All right, I caught him. I don't. I don't know what I can do about that. I got it. Not enough resources. Not enough resources. Oh, I need more nails. Goodness gracious. Astro, only have sex with people when you're sober. Also, give you some. Give you some? Here you go, some. Here you go. Take all that stuff. Whatever you need, take it from me. I don't get high off of my own supply. I take it with friends. Naturally. Although that hasn't happened. Tastes good. There you go. There you go. Oh, my body still did it, but Lorelai says that but as the person taking the test, they can't account for that. Exactly. Thus, the rice results would go up unless taking it again showed your previous results and prove it was you. So, okay, okay. Clarification time. You can be pure, according to the rice purity test, and you can get more pure if and only if you legitimately don't remember what happened. Legitimately, and I'm not talking like I'm not talking like oh my god. I can't remember. I'm talking like I have no freaking clue I do not fall into that. I mean actually I I'm a little dead sometimes I, I forget sometimes 
I'm not very good about that. What, what if, if you? I didn't understand questions. What if Anna doesn't understand questions? Well, if if you're at a point where you don't understand questions and also can't answer the questions, then you're not taking a test. You're you're just being talked to. There's no conversation there. You're not answering any questions. I suppose. If I ask you what's two plus two and you say fish, or I guess that's an acceptable answer. If you say two plus two and you say how you doing? It's not really an answer to the question. Or rather, it is an answer to the question, but it's not the answer that I was expecting. That's not an answer to that question. It's not an answer to that question, according to Anna. What if you took it and lost your memories and had an even lower score in your new mentality? At that point, I think you just traded consciousnesses. Consciousnesses? Consciences. Consciences with somebody. Some would say technology is already there. I don't know. Also, by the way, quick update on this popping cherry margarita. After a while, if the pop rocks are covered in lime juice, they don't pop anymore. Well, yeah, because you're already liquefied. There's no popping. It's actually got me very disappointed. There is a significant lack of poppage here, and I'm sad about that. Oh, actually, wait, wait, wait. All right, I did get one of them. I did get one of them, although... Actually, it's still kind of going. It's still, it's still kind of popping in my mouth. Those cherries are still popping in my mouth. They still are. And as weird as that sounds, it is cherry flavor of Pop Rocks. That's what I mean. That's all there is to it. Five okay. cups is not a lot. What's that? <laughs> what was that about Pops? Five cups. Five cups is not a lot. No. Five cups is apparently not a lot. Not for our decanter. No, no. Not for our decanter. Oh my goodness. Sad pops, no pops. We all pop for pop pops. Tests, like the rice purity test, can be designed poorly. So you getting better at understanding it and your score improved. I think this improvement counts. I think it counts too. Or did I? Mm. Yeah, okay. Tests can be poorly designed. Five You're right. cups doesn't even reach the top of the spigot. Oh my god, I found a grave. There's a body in this grave. Oh, I guess I'm, gonna get more. I'm gonna keep it there. What'd you say? Five cups more cups? More cups. Anna needs more cups for the decanter for her infusion. What do we do? We cheer her on. Go get him, dog. You got it. You got it. Too. Where's the farmer? Hey, yo, farmer. Hey, buddy. Hey, what's up? I knocked on your door. I need to ask you about onion seeds. I. You don't. So mm -hmm. I need more onion seeds. I need more top-tier onion seeds. That's disappointing. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh, da ka ti up da. A blue double d double die. A double d double die. A double d double die. A double d. I am wearing a blue shirt, and the background is blue, so I'm indeed blue. Double d double die. A double d double die. Double d double die. If I were green, I would die. Just kidding. If I were green, I'm probably about to throw up. I got money. Oh, actually, that was that was pretty sizable. That was some good money. Hey, it's not so bad. Huh. I guess I could make more pallets if I had more flitches and stuff. All right, I need to quickly refocus. I need to focus on something. What was I focusing on? I need to accomplish something. Snake is in the basement, in the dungeon, the basement of the dungeon. So I gotta go talk to him. Miss Charm requires aristocrat paper, so I need more money. The church requires more good good. And I did do some research on that, so I can work on that. Five star dinner, gold star dinners for the merchant. Sell seven crates. I've sold two crates so far. Craft the spirit laser, activate the portal on which hill. Gunta! I can sell more crates. I will continue to sell more crates. I will continue to get more money. And I will continue to try to find more stuff. Hmm. Snake with the ritual, aristocrat papers, sneak papers, and I'll, you know what? Okay, so I'll go back and I'll work on the church. I will work on the church. Church feel good. Oh, all that Astro can think of is misheard lyrics, and it's saying, I would beat off a guy. Oh my god, really? Oh my god. I'm blue, I beat up, I would beat off a guy, oh, I would beat off a guy, oh, I would beat off a guy, oh, I would beat off a guy. That means jerking him off. For those who aren't aware, that vernacular means jerking somebody off, That's which also means basically giving somebody a hand job. Just saying. 
Education is important around here. Astro's gotta go. Have a good game. Thank you, sir. You have a wonderful rest of your nights. I appreciate your presence. I love you being here. Continue being a wonderful self. Or don't. Honestly, if your rice purity test gets any lower, I won't judge you for it. Lorelai says to die or to die is the confusion. Yeah, get it? Die is in like... Or die is in like, I'm gonna paint my clothes today. There are many different ways to die. Many different ways to die. So what else could I put in here? Wooden church shrine. I think I already have the wooden church shrine. Oh, I do not. I do not yet have the wooden church shrine. Let me make a wooden church shrine. I mean, I should just probably make a bunch of these things. Incense burners. Oh, oh, that's why I was crafting those things. Ah, 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 ah. So to beat off a guy is the real blue, the balls they had along the way. The real blue is the balls that they had because they were beating off the guy and not getting anything in return because the guy that they were beating off was not reciprocating. Remember, relationships are a two-way street. And if your partner isn't reciprocating, maybe you need to talk to them about it. Communicationism is important. Communic communicationism. Communicationism is important. Talk to your partner. Don't forget, talk to them today. I need... Wow, stained glass windows require... A lot of good things. Wow, okay. I need more gold. Complex iron parts. I really only need gold. I don't know how many... Mm. That's a lot. I also need silk. How to make silk. Have I learned how to make silk yet? I don't think I have learned how to make silk. There must be a way. There must be a way to create silk. I don't yet know how to create silk. How to create silk. Have I learned how to create silk? I feel like I have. Silk at. Can I only buy silk? I don't... I have a feeling I can... I don't think I can make silk. Really? I didn't double check this. Really? Absolutely no silk. No fabric. None of it. Hmm. Interesting. As of now, I don't see any silk. Wow. Yeah, I don't see any silk at all. I don't see any futures involving me creating my own silk. I need to buy it. No caterpillar farming for me. I would think surly that I would be able to craft the craft it from like a uh, spy like spider web. But alas, I suppose not. All right, I need to buy I need to buy silk. So I need to talk to the merchant. So, to the merchant, I will buy eventually. But I can also use some gold stuff. I can probably build another confessional. Let me make some square boards, flat boards, simple and complex iron parts. Square boards, flat boards, uh, simple iron parts. A bunch of iron parts. Square boards, flat boards, a bunch of iron parts. That's what I'll do. I got quite a bit of wood that I can chop down. Oh, I'll take some of it. Whoops, did not mean to whack. Did not mean to whack like that. Whacking like that don't help at nobody. Now I should also, I, I mean, there's so much, there's other things that I should be focusing on. The thing is like, the one of the things that I really like about this game is there's, there's a lot that you can do in it. There are many different ways. There are many different resources that you can farm in this game. There's many different things that you can do at any particular time. And you know, the any particular time that you choose to do stuff is it, it, it kind of I don't know I didn't need to do it all from what I can tell it looks like it looks like you get the final items to actually escape this world by helping out and maxing out the friendship with certain key characters and so to do that you have to do things for them and there are many different things that you could possibly do and that's pretty cool that's pretty cool all right so I need I need some of these wooden beams, wooden planks. Let me grab out all the ones that I have. I've got a few wooden beams. Grab some of those. Got out some planks. Oh, don't want the gold nugget. Put that back. I don't need flitches. Uh, I need uh, complex iron parts. I need some of that. What else have we got? Let's get some more of these wooden beams. I've got some um, complex iron parts. I think I'll need a few more of these beams. Take some of those. I'll take some wooden planks while I got them. Bunch of bunch of energy. Tomorrow is faith day. This is a good thing. The day for faith. A day for faith, a day for good tidings. Have you prayed recently? 
I don't think you have to- I, I was thinking about this recently. I, I oftentimes question various aspects of myself. I've spare- I, I've questioned my spirituality. I've questioned my sexuality. I've questioned various parts of my alities, various alities, various qualities about myself. And one of the things that I questioned was like, whether I- like, I'm not a very- I'm not a super religious person, but can I pray? Like, yeah, I think I can. I think, I think, like, just because you don't have, like, a particular deity to pray to doesn't mean you can't, like, pray. Like, because I was thinking about it this way. Like, a lot of my family uses the term thoughts and prayers or, like, oh, I'm praying for you. And, like, I want to be able to, like, pray for somebody. But, like, I don't really have any particular deity to pray to. Like, I, it's not like I pray to, like, God specifically or pray to Jesus or pray to... Hindu, Norse, or any sort of other, like, gods. But, like, can I still pray for somebody? And I think of it this way. A prayer, if, if at the very least the act of praying is kind of focusing your thoughts and energy on a particular person for their goodwill. I feel like when you say a prayer, you say a prayer, like, for something. You say a prayer for goodwill. You're focusing your thoughts on goodwill and saying saying something or speaking to some sort of higher or adjacent power maybe it doesn't have to be a higher power maybe you just believe in like the force and is that a higher power or is it an adjacent power if you're praying to that like i think if you're focusing your energy focusing your thoughts on something i think that's essentially a pray i don't think you need to pray to any particular deity so thinking to myself like the answer that i i came up with was yes i can totally pray there's nothing stopping me from praying and I can tell- it, it, it wouldn't be wrong of me to say, I'll be praying for you. As me not being a religious person, I think I can still say that to people and feel good about it and not feel like I'm lying to somebody. Is prayer different from strongly and sincerely wishing for someone for yourself or others? I don't think so. From my, from my point of view, no. I don't think it is. I don't think it's any different than that. I think if there if there is a difference, the only difference is whether you feel like or whether you know that you're talking to somebody or not. Talking to somebody who may not... I, I mean, even that, that's somebody not might not even be listening. I know, having been raised Catholic, that supposedly Jesus and God is always listening. If you have something to say, they will always listen to you. Although I don't know if the same can be said about like other gods and whatnot. But I suppose, why pray to a God who's not listening to you? My goodness, what a deep thought. But you know, aside from that, yeah, I think strongly and sincerely wishing for something for yourself or others, I think that's that qualifies as a prayer. Makes sense to me. Makes a lot of sense to me. So I'll go I'll go with that. I don't know. That was one of the things that I was thinking about recently because I feel like so uh, one of my one of my family members in the past has been suffering from some some medical issues. I, I believe it was a type of cancer. I don't exactly remember which type of cancer, but I want to say it was close or something to the spleen. And I like, you know, when we get to the family gatherings and what I actually just saw her the other day. She's doing really, 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 really well right now. And I'm very, very happy for that. But so a lot of people had, a lot of the other family's members had said like, oh, you know, my, my thoughts and prayers. And I said too, I said like, oh yeah, I'll be praying for you. And it just kind of, it came out really naturally. I didn't, like, second-guess it then, but then I started second-guessing it later, and I was thinking to myself, like... When I say that I'm praying for you, am I lying? Like, if I think about you, like, like I'm thinking about her right now, and I really hope she is doing really, really well. And to my knowledge, she is doing really, really well. And I'm focusing, and I'm attempting to focus as much as I can on the goodwill of that particular person, and hopefully good things coming to them. Is that praying? Is it, is it praying even if I'm not specifically calling out to some, like, like let, let's say I call out to just fate in general, if you even believe in fate. Let's just call, like, call out to, like, the good energy of the world, if you even believe in that. Or maybe just, I am hoping by sheer coincidence that everything goes fine. And I'm going to focus on that sheer coincidence to make sure that if I had any possible influence whatsoever over how good you are doing right now, I am just going to focus, do all that I can to make sure that, I don't know, I've done all the things that I can. That's my prayer. My prayer, my thoughts and prayers, my praying for you is doing everything that I think that I possibly can with absolutely no connection to be able to do good stuff for you or to be able to bring good things your way. At the very least, I am not even near you. I have nothing to do with you. I'm not engaging with you, but I am thinking solely on my own that I wish that you were doing a very good thing or that you're feeling very good right now or good things are coming to you or myself. I think that's essentially a prayer. 
And I don't think that there has to be any religious context there. And the only reason I say it is because it makes me feel better and it makes sense to me in my mind. So I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with that. It seems rather appropriate. I don't know if the graveyard keeper here is incredibly religious. Doesn't seem like they are. Although there are ghosts here. And some would say the ectoplasmic beyond is indeed a higher power that we just have no knowledge of. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe so, maybe not. I need more iron. I'm running out of complex iron parts. I'm running out of iron. I'm gonna need to go get some more iron. I do have some iron scrap. So, let me go throw some of that into the cauldron. Oh, I don't have enough for that. I can do more at a time though. That's pretty interesting. I had more iron ore. I can definitely go up and get some more iron ore. Do I have any silver? Why do I have silver just sitting there? I got silver. Oh, that's steel. That's silver. I got silver. Just get rid of my silver. More silver. There we go. That, that seems fine to me. Then I will go to the torch. Do I have all the things I need? I have flat planks. I got square planks. I got complex iron and simple iron. Sounds good to me. And do I have any more pumpkins? I got more pumpkins. I got more pumpkins and I got more onions. That's exactly what I want to see. There we go. Oh, oh I need them in my inventory. Alas. Alas, um, I don't need crap waste. Destroy. Destroy. I don't need that. Put the onions over here. I'm now running out of silver star onion seeds. Wow, what a disappointment. It makes me very sad. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, artichokey. Whatever you say. Oh, did I not pick up the right pumpkin? Oh, I have more crap waste. That's why. Duh. Duh. Fine. Is prayer different from... Oh, we already saw that. I already saw, read that that message. I almost... Sometimes I get confused. Okay, so that's cooking on over there. I'll go back to the torch. Back to the torch and make some worthwhile improvements. Maybe we get softer pews. Maybe not. Okay, but, but first, today is Charm Day. Today is Miss Charm's Day. I need the aristocrat papers. And for that, I need a hell of a lot more money than I do currently that I currently have. Makes me sad. Money? Money. Thank you for monies. Everybody appreciates it. Your donations are always more than welcome. So now it's time to build a wooden church shrine. Oh, I already have a wooden church shrine. I could have multiple, though. Can I have multiple? I cannot have multiple, it seems. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Do I have space for another confessional up here? I could. See, that's worth a four. Can I put another confessional up there? Wall candelabras, different candelabras, candelabra candelabras. Do I have any candelabras right now? I don't think I do. Oh! Would you look at that? Space for candelabras. Oh my goodness. Space for more candelabras. Are those candelabras too? Electric boogaloo? They all worth the same. Candelabra 2 on the wall. Oh, those are standing candelabras. Wall candelabras. I understand. That seems appropriate. But I need more complex iron parts. There's the kicker. I can also put incense burners down here. That, that seems right. I feel like I should put incense down there. This feels right. How much do incense burners give me? Incense burners give one. A little bit. What about this... Uh, level two candelabra? Mm, I want incense. I want incense. I sense that incense is necessary. Minus one? Minus one? What? Do I have to have the incense burning for it to be good? Oh. Oh, no, I have to build it. Right? 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 Yeah. Plus two. Excellent. All right, that, that was it. That's all I needed. I just need to, to, to erect them. Erect the incense. Now, apparently I can burn incense too. No idea how to build incense. Not just yet. But let's find out. How to make incense. S the smell of faith. Smells like corpses. I can make it at a church workbench. I'm gonna go downstairs and see how to make incense. And also consider that I need more iron. So I should actually go up to the quarry after this. I'll go up to the quarry, see what I can do. Do I have any more stories on me? No new stories. That's okay. That's fine. Incense, 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 incense. How to build incense. Oh, look at that. Freshener. Oh, I'm gonna build some incense. Is that really all I need? 
Freshener? Oh, I think I have a recipe for that, right? Right, 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 right. Freshener. Oh my god! Oh, that's not difficult at all. Ah, oh, I'm very happy about that. Very good. Very good. I'm gonna go burn some incense. I'm in a good mood today. Today just feels like a Nag Champa kind of day. I like that. Oh, I should also probably research those. It gives me blue points in the lad of it. All right, I'll put that th Oh, if I burn the incense, we go up by points of two. Nice. I'm gonna see if I can research that. It takes only one. Excellent. I can use some more blue points. It cannot be decomposed. Oh, but I got- Oh, I got a lot of blue points for that. I'm gonna spend it on learning how to do marble. Marble? Mar- Oh, I need 200 green points. I only have 91 green points? Oh. Well, damn. Time to fix that. That gives me green points. Give it a green points. You can be decomposed. A likely story. What about pumpkins? That gives me the green points. A likely story. Yet again, I can turn you into essence. I want to turn you into essence. Pumpkin essence. Pumpkin essence. The onions I can turn into stuff. Can I turn you into essence? Oh, I can turn spiderweb into slowing essence. I can turn you into essence too. Onion essence. I am going to juice these onions. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed I will. I'll burn some incense to get upstairs. Put some faith in the chest. Put a little faith in there. Oh, I used up all the faith. Hmm. Makes sense. What else was I doing? Oh, I was gonna burn the other incense. It's probably gonna go out. Yeah, it's gonna go out after a while, but I can always build more incense. It's honestly not too difficult to build the incense, because I I have plenty of material to create more fresheners. And now we're at a quality of 31 right now. Not too bad. I need more complex parts for stuff like that. So I'm going to go up to the quarry and make some more stuff. I'm going to make some more... Make some more of this stuff. I don't quite have all the green points necessary for marble. Uh, the marble that I want. But this will be good. This will be fine and dandy, probably. Oh, but I need more stuff for energy. I can eat cabbages. Hmm, cabbages. Cabbages. That didn't really help. Well, maybe... Okay, I currently need iron. So I think it would be wise for me to begin getting some more iron from that. I'll work on that. Mining in the day. Mining in the evening. Mining, mining, mining. Mining all the time. Mining, 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 I'm mining all the time. Gonna do some mining, mining, and I rhyme. Only one rhyme this time. We don't need any more rhymes. It takes a lot of mental effort to rhyme for some people. For me, it do. It takes a little bit of energy. Let's take this and turn it all the way down. Let's get some iron ore, get it up from there. I'm not gonna try to get as much iron ore as possible, and I'm gonna cook it all. I'm gonna cook it all good, and hopefully we get some good stuff from that. I am also going to run out of energy. It's not very fun. Can I get like one more out of this? Maybe. It is possible. If it is popsicle, it is possible. I need 10. I do not have 10. I am going to eat something. I'm going to eat this pumpkin. Totally worth it. All right, time to go back down. Oh, and I got some silver too. Sweet. Sweet home. Wee 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 wee. Got some more silver. Gonna put the iron in there. That should be perfect. Oh, I need to burn stuff. For that, I need firewood. Do I have a lot of firewood? I really do not. Oi. Oi vey. All right. Chop down trees, I guess. Or probably go to sleep. I can go to sleep. Oh, I'll regain my energy. Chop down some trees. Get some firewood. It'll be great. It'll be wonderful. Mm -mm -mm. I have finally... I've officially finished off... The Popping Cherry Margarita. Really good. And there's still a bunch of cherries at the bottom. So that, that's what I'll be indulging in. Okay, so today... Is Claw Day. I need to see what that um that dude's up to. That's how I make gold jewelry. Gold jewelry is actually not that 
difficult to make. And I know I need gold jewelry details for the stained glass windows. This church is going to look delightful. It is going to be absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. Church and that. Sorry, writing some notes down. Keep track of things so that I do not forget. It's a thing that I do. It's a thing that I do well. Remembering things. <laughs> Just kidding, that's a lie. I do not remember things well. That would be a total lie. Pure lies, some would say. Can't pay any more onions there. Do I have enough for more pumpkins? I hope so. Oh, I need... I think I need 30... 32 pumpkins. 32 pumpkins, and that's how I do the next thing. But I need iron. So I need wood. That's what it was. I need to make some wood. I need to cut down trees. Excellently cutting down trees. Who needs to save the environment when I have shit to do? I have progress to make. You can't stop progress. Not like this. Not like this. But I suppose that's kind of how deforestation occurs. And it's interesting. I feel like... And this just might be my perception of the world around me. But I feel like I haven't heard about... I haven't heard of deforestation since I was in high school. And I'm not sure if that's because deforestation got better. Like, maybe deforestation isn't happening as often. Or let... I like... I just... I don't know. Maybe I stopped seeing the right sources to listen to it. I don't know. But I feel like I haven't heard about deforestation like quite a while. And I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's because of me or because it, it's better now. Like, I feel like what I've heard of recently is like, like pollution in the oceans. That's a hot topic. Deforestation, I feel like, I, I don't know. Me personally, I haven't seen many headlines about deforestation recently. And I don't know why that is. I'm not sure if it's merely my perception. Perhaps I'm just not focusing on deforestation headlines, but I feel like I haven't heard, I haven't heard any recent news of deforestation since like I was, I was in high school, which for context was about eight years ago. That was a long time ago. No, no, no. It was, it was six years ago. Uh, uh, yeah, that's about eight years ago. I, I was in college for five years. I just finished that off about five years ago. I was in high school. I'm bad at guesstimating things. But in any case, I feel like it, it's been quite a while. Nonetheless, it has been quite a while since I've heard somebody complain about deforestation. And maybe that's just because I'm not looking at the right news sources. But nonetheless, I am still worried about it. Trees are necessary. Okay? Okay. Although, to be fair, to be fair, anybody whose argument is that trees provide oxygen for you to breathe forgets that i think 90 percent like some some percentage some really really high percentage i think the majority of the oxygen that we breathe comes from surface plankton in the ocean that photosynthesize it's got very little to do with trees although although like global oxygen obviously if you live in like a forest and all of those trees went away you're probably going to get less oxygen because you don't live close to an ocean unless you have trees and live near an ocean but even still, I think the plankton are probably way far out into the ocean. And I'm definitely looking too far deep into this. But, uh, whatever. I have all these billets. Nice. That's what I needed for firewood. So many billets. I suspect that deforestation might have suffered from topic burnout without enough means for individuals to improve it if it's not better. Like so many kids' movies preached about protecting the rainforest without any ways to actually protect the rainforest i feel like the only power that i have against protecting the rainforest is one if i'm ever hired to become like a tractor worker to cut down trees i should speak up in my company so that we don't cut down all the trees or two donate money to like like to charities that are supporting that particular cause i feel like really and the, the, the first option is not likely so i feel like really the only thing that i can do to support i guess the health of our forests is to just, like, not cut down trees myself and give money. But, like, I don't know. I don't know. My big problem with charities is the fact that not all charities are completely honest about what the money goes to. And that's why I hesitate towards donating. Although, there are some charities that, like, there are some charities that are, like, totally 
totally transparent charities. They all of their every single one of their 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 monies, every single one of their stuff, and their entire budget. The budget is the right word to use. Their budget is completely transparent, and you know where all of that money is going. I can't name any in particular. Again, I'm not a big I'm not a big charity donor, so I wouldn't know off the top of my head. But I know there are some out there. I, I know I know there are. I just I just don't remember who. I have no iron. Is this still going? This is still going? Wow. God, iron takes a while. I guess, in, in light of that, public service announcement. Donate. Do charity work. Do some good things for your community. Feels good. I try to do more things for my community. I'm still trying to figure out ways that I can better serve my community. I don't know yet. Suggestions and whatnot? Suggestions and personal ideas are all I got. But I'll keep on rolling with it. Right now, I feel pretty good. I haven't, like... I was gonna say, I haven't done anything charitable for a while. I just did a charity stream. Just kidding. I did that. That's my feel good. That's my feel good for a while. I could always do more. But I just... I don't know. I, I got a life, I guess. I can't just always... I mean, me personally... Don't feel like I can have the time just to go out and, like, volunteer all the time. Although, technically... I guess supposedly I'd be... I, I suppose I'd be helping the community more so by volunteering than streaming. Which I do do... I just said doo doo. Uh, hours in a week. But, like, I'm doing what I can. I feel like I'm doing what I can. Oh, that's all gone. Give me the faith. Thank you for the faith. And the story. Wow. Thank you. That's a good story. That story is about somebody who went out of their way to volunteer today. Good for that person. I need paper. Let me give me some of that paper. Bring to me papier. Four pieces of paper will do just fine. I'll have all of this energy. I'll make great stories. I've got no space in my inventory. I can put the story away. Epic, dude. Epically awesome. I can put the prayer away. I don't need that. I can eat this. Eat these flowers. Yum. Delicious. Got clean paper. And what kind of extracts did I get? Toxic extract and health extract. I got toxic extract from an onion. Interesting. Why do I have steel ingot in here? Why do I have steel ingot in here? I don't need steel ingot in here. I'm gonna eat these mushrooms. I don't know why I have a steel ingot in here. I don't need that in there. Put that in there. Uh, I think... Oh, this speed potion can go elsewhere. I have a place for potions. I think... Where do I put my potions at? My potions go over here? Hmm... This is where some potions go. I'll take it. Let's make some more stories while I got the opportunity. While I have the chance to sit everybody down and tell them a story, I'm going to make a story. That's one story. Chapter one over. Now for the next story. Oh, it was a wonderful day and chapter two. Chapter two is now over. Uh, chapter three and four combined together. This one is about a little boy named... Hold for a moment. Speed potion, health potion. I can eat another pumpkin. I can eat a pumpkin. That was about Tommy. Tommy is dead. That's it. That's that's the story. Sorry, Tommy. Sorry, Tommy. Sorry, little buddy. Sorry, little Tommy boy. I have used up all of my, almost all of my chisels. Uh, no, just kidding. They're they're doing rather fine right now. I was just completely incorrect about that. Ho hum. Ho hum, dum de dum. Put faith away. Is my iron finished yet? It'd be really cool if my iron was finished. Right? Oh my goodness, you were taking so long. I'm not sure if I really like that. Alas. Actually, you know what I can build? I have space for a printing press. Where do I build the printing press? I should look into that. I feel like the printing press... I got a paper press. Oh! I need some flitches for that. I can make flitches. Let's make some flitches. Yeah! Oh, I should go to sleep. Definitely do that. There we go. Rest up for the day. I can make a paper press. The more machines that I can build, the better. I feel like we can definitely benefit from that specifically. Have another cherry. Good stuff. Good iron. Love that. Alright. Now that I got the flitches... Time to build a paper press. 
paper press. There we go. What can I make on it? Probably paper. What do I make the paper out of? Still don't know yet. Still attempting to answer those questions myself. Clean paper. I can use paper glop and white paint. How do I make paper glop? I don't know how to make paper glop. That's a problem for another day. Oh wait, have I done the stone stuff yet? I still need more green points. And for that, I will eventually harvest more pumpkins. Or I can... Mm, do I have enough in my... I don't really have a lot of space in my inventory. I also have this speed potion. I'm just going to use it. I'm speedy now. Wow, look at me go. Super speedy special action. More complex iron parts. I need those. I'll use those. And then I'll create a couple more incense places. A couple more incense spots. A couple more... Uh, prepare myself for more gold. More gold is good. I don't remember what else I needed the complex iron parts for, so I guess we'll just have to see. Sunday is an entire week away. I wanna... I wanna... I think probably the last thing that I'll do for this session is I will increase... I will, I will talk to the, the priest, the bishop, and tell him about how awesome my church looks. Assuming that my church is gonna look damn fine. Fine enough, at least. Oh, I forgot to talk to the merchant about silk. Sad boy time. Where do candelabras go? They're tiny and they go here. Um, I can honestly increase the number of candelabras I have. Uh, but first, wall candelabras. Oh, those can go in place of the incense. Okay, so wall candelabras go here. And, oh, I'm out of simple iron parts. Excellent. And I think, oh, I can put candles there too. And the candles will also increase the church quality. Duh. Forgot about that. Uh, I need more simple iron parts, so I'm gonna go do that. But for, actually, before I do that, what do I need for candles? Is it really that difficult to create candles? It's not difficult to create incense. What about candles? Candles require fat, beeswax, various different types of candles. This is a lot more can- I guess that just requires- That requires less paint. It gives me more- Different types of candles requires more beeswax, but it doesn't require fat. I think I can build an apiary. Can I do that yet? I think I can build an apiary. I know there's an area for me to build an apiary. What's up? Snake, wait a minute. I thought you were in the dungeon. Oh, maybe you came out of the dungeon. Oh, whatever. I need to go investigate the apiary. I think I need more bees. I think Cameron needs more bees. Bees, bees, they're good for your hearts. If you let them in, your heart will stop. They'll clog your arteries. Bees clog arteries. Eh. I'm pretty sure bees clog arteries. Probably. If they're left to sit there. Unless I digest it first. Alright, apiary. Beehive. I need bees. Gotta get more bees. Ten bees. How many bees do I have right now? I don't know if I have any bees. Let's go to Sweet Home and find out. Do I have bees in here? I have a single bee. Do I have bees in the basement? I wonder. Bees in the basement? Bees in the basement. Bees in the basement, yeah. I got butterflies in the basement. Bat wings in the basement. Goo in the basement and ink. Ink and goo in the basement. I need more bees. I apparently need more bees. Look at that. Never thought that I would need more bees. Let's see. I am at church level 29 right now. I need another candelabra. I definitely need that. Um, Actually, I don't think I'll be able to do the next level of stuff tonight. I think that's actually going to take a lot longer than I think it will. Alright, well, alas. No problem. I'll do as far as I possibly can. I'll just pick it up next time. Are there any, like... Let me think of some other, like, small goals along the way. What else can I do in the meantime? I could research more. I could start doing marble stuff. I will get all the green points necessary to be able to engrave and cut marble. Feels like... Feels good. Feels like a good one. Because then I think the marble is used for more complex structures and whatnot. Not so sure yet, but alas. So let's put another... Wall candelabra over here. 
put it here. That went up a little bit. What else can we do? If I take these candelabras out of the picture, let me remove all those candelabras and replace them with better ones. I'll probably have some leftover material, and that'll give me a couple of points. I want to remove them. There we go. Mark that from removal. I vaguely remember... I'm pretty sure when you break things down, you get... You get recyclables from them. You get some parts back. And that's, that's a good thing. I like that idea. I can make better candelabras. Simple iron parts. Look at that. All right, cool. Simple iron parts and metal scrap. I have a couple things in my inventory. I... I'm just gonna get rid of the... I'm gonna get rid of the honey. I can get... Or actually, I'll eat the honey. There we go. Now I got metal scrap. It'll turn on the scrap, but the scrap can be turned back into iron. And that's fine. I think I specifically need complex iron parts for the candelabras too. And I need four of them. I need four candelabras. So, let's see how much that'll do for me. Candelabra 2 electric boogaloo. I need four. So I will need 16 simple iron parts. And I will need four times four. I'll need 16 of each. I have 10 right now. I have six right now of the complex and however many it was of the other one. I'll get to it. And I have more iron, so I'll just go and do that. Got some more can candelabras. Candelabras? Candelabras. Yeah, that's a that's a frustrating way of saying it. Candelabras. I may have how many right now? I have six right now. If I can make it in units of three, I need ten. I need to do this four times. One, two, three, four. At 15 of them. All them parts. All them complex iron parts. And I'm almost out of energy. Almost out of energy. Can I eat the bee? I cannot eat bees. That does not help me. Got more iron. Excellent. Put that away. Iron parts away. Uh, put the scrap away. Turn the scrap into good good. Scrap into good good. Scrap into good good. Gonna go over here and gonna go to sleep. Sleeping for the day, not talking to the Inquisitor. In order to continue stuff for the Inquisitor, I need better onion seeds. I've run out of the good onion seeds. And I need those. I need those very much. I don't have those right now. Alas. My water bottle over here. There we go. Back outside to continue the grind. Some would say that the grind never stops. I, I I disagree. I think the grind should stop every once in a while. It's good to rest up. How many complex do I have? 21. That's good. I have nine simple iron. Uh, I can make I'll make I'll make a few extras. Seems about right. That feels good. Now I got plenty of those. I've got enough for all of the candelabras. Candelabras, as I will continue to frustratingly say it in hopes that somebody will get bothered. It's a little bit of schadenfreude. If I'm annoying so I don't really... Okay, sometimes I want to annoy people. Sometimes I don't. And if me mispronouncing words that isn't like in a sort of like, like in my own native tongue, I dig with that. I vibe with that. If it annoys someone, I'm okay with that. Candelabras, putting emphasis in the wrong syllable. Oh, that's funny stuff. That's funny stuff. Anyway, got all the good stuff. So now we're at 35. 35, I still need 15 more. I can get up to a maximum of, of I think, four more with the incense burning. That'll bring me to 39. And with candles burning, I don't remember how many I can use from that. I definitely need more beeswax. But are there also other improvements I can make as well, right? Like, for example, can I build another church shrine down here, perhaps? No, I cannot. This, I could put another church shrine here, but I've got my confessional on the way. And that takes up four anyways, anyway. I can't put it up here. Oh, but I can rotate. Oh, I can rotate. I should totally rotate it there. Can I make another one? Holy crap, I can. Oh my goodness gracious. That's perfect. I, for some reason, did it did not click to me that I could make those better and turn them around. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, I actually like that a lot better. I would like, I would much rather turn this into a confessional just because I like symmetry. Symmetry feels good. Symmetry feels really good. How much does a confessional need? How much do I need to put a confessional in this place? 
I need to confess. I need more flat planks. Uh, and I need to destroy that down there. I'm at 45 right now. That's good. Actually, maybe I will be able to do that. You know, yeah, this, this feels attainable. This feels completely attainable. So I will do that. Get out of here. Leave. I will destroy you. Get out of here. We need a place for more confession. Lord knows I need to confess something. I gotta get this off of my chest. I... 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 Rip my pants. When Big Benny Larry came to put him down, SpongeBob turned into a clown, and no one ever wants to dance with the fool who win it. <laughs> Ripped his pants. I remember going to high school and participating in theater class and my goodness for some reason all the theater folks that i knew in high school we were all really up to snuff on our like spongebob references like we were all damn good at just quoting random spongebob stuff and i haven't watched spongebob squarepants in quite a long time but i remember some of them the giant alaskan bullworm i think that was probably my favorite episodes just because at the very very at the very very end of the episode like the alaskan bullworm Flops on down, crushes bikini bottom, just like, ouch. And then you've got that cool little, like, guitar riff at the end. At the end, it goes like something like, there's a little, like, at the end. Oh, I like that. Just the small things in life. The small things from my, from my childhood that, like, like, rear their heads up. I just noticed I had wine. Where did my wine go? Where did I put my wine? Where did my wine go? I know I had wine on me. I didn't sell it yet. I had two batches of wine. Hmm. I should probably go find that. That's a hot commodity. It's a very hot commodity. Confession time. And I'll rotate you around. There we go. You can go exactly where you want to be. That's a perfect place for a confessional. Perfect, perfect place for a confessional. And the perfect, the perfect thing to do at a confessional is to tell me what you did today. Get it off your chest. What's that? You killed a man. Good night. Oh, good night, dearest. I killed a man too. I did, and I feel absolutely no remorse for it. Faith, trust, pixie dust. Whoosh. Good things from that. Oi. Lorelai wouldn't say it's a favorite, but Rock Bottom stuck hard. Oh my goodness. Rock Bottom, the one where they went out of the way to the bottom and the dude has a, I can't <coughs> understand <coughs> your accent. <coughs> Although it amuses her how often you recognize SpongeBob based memes, except for the one where a phrase is mocked. Like the whole, like the whole. You're mocking me, aren't you? You're mocking me, aren't you? Like when you do the little toggle case when you write it all out. I I enjoyed that one. I thought that one was always very funny to me. Like that, like the chicken Spongebob meme. <laughs> it was always very funny. I always personally enjoyed that one. All right, I need to put this paper away. Paper? Away. Papier? Away. Where's my wine? There's my wine. Wine, 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 wine. Give me the wine. I haven't missed... I haven't missed that day yet. Oh, I need five more. Oh, okay, I should make some incense. I can burn some incense, but I also need more improvements. I have one more day to get that church level up to snuff. So let's make some freshener. I I'll get a couple of fresheners. I'll make a few fresheners. I'll freshen this place up a little bit. It doesn't take too much effort. And then I'll make quite a bit of incense. Incense is good. Incense is good. Very, very good. All right, got some of that. Make some incense. I wonder, does incense give me blue points? I want blue points. Blue points? I hope so. Lorelai likes it, but no clue what episode it's from. Also, the one with Squidward making a band had no right to end that well. That was such an excellent episode. My God. The one where uh, the bubble, the bubble, ba, the bubble, ba, the bubble, ba, the bubble bowl. Oh God, the bubble bowl. My goodness gracious. Let me eat another pumpkin because I'm lazy. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know where the mocking SpongeBob episode was from. It might have just been like, maybe it was one of those ones where like it was there for a frame and that was it. Don't really remember. I'm also gonna. I need 
I need more stuff here. What else can I build here? What else can I build? I need more stuff. I can put more candela- Actually, I can put more candelabras up near those shrines. Which will increase it by two more, which will be at a level where I will be able to handle more- I I'd be able to handle the incense. So I will make two more standing candelabras. So I need more complex iron parts and simple iron parts. So let's head on back to the home of sweetness. Head on back to the home of sweet. Make some good stuff there. I think I will... I'll build up those candelabras. I will impress the bishop with my astounding display of, of, display of faith. And then I think I'll call it for the evening. And then we'll continue this up in the next couple weeks. Hollow Knight will be next week. And then Graveyard Keeper. And if I can ever get myself back on the schedule, I really... What I really want to do is I've been looking through a lot of indie games recently. I've been I've been looking through my Steam library. I've been looking through, like, upcoming games for 2022. And I was like, I really want to just take days where I just... I, I like, I like for one day, like, a single stream day is just I play an indie game and I dedicate my time to this particular game. Kind of like what I did with this one game I played called Moonwave Overdrive with some, like, cyberpunk, like, like drifting game, like, drifting race game. It was, it was really fun. I, I really, really like that game. Um, it's a little wonky, but it's still, like, in its very... It's still in its its baby steps phase. And I really, really enjoyed that. Would definitely recommend checking it out if y'all are into, into cyberpunk or racing games. Uh, it's called Moonwave Overdrive. Good game. Good game. But I wanted to try, like, more indie games that I can kind of just... I don't know. Spread some love to. I feel, like, I feel like a lot of indie games out there don't really get any love. And I don't know. I feel like by making, by making some content about it, It'll bring some more attention to them. Maybe. I, I don't know. But I've been wanting to do that. Also because I have like almost 300 games in my Steam library right now. And I really want to make it through all of them at some point. And that's not really possible unless I begin kind of diversifying. Um, wouldn't be too out there. I am a self-proclaimed variety streamer. And I can't put two candle lobbers there because I can't rotate them. Oh, that makes me sad. Oh man, dude. Oh man, bro. Oh. What about what about wall candelabras? I can put another one over here. That works. That gives me an extra two. That's fine. So I'm at 47 right now, and if these give me an extra, oh yeah, that'll work. That'll work perfectly. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna do stuff like that. I'm thinking. I don't know. Nothing too soon. No, 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 no announcements too soon. We're, we're, we're working on it. Needless to say, I'm working on it. I want to do more. I want to do more, more stuff for the peoples. More, more stuff for the peoples. I'm just gonna kind of sleep until the next day, until the bishop comes on around, and give him the good stuff. Sweet home. Give it a rest. Give it a rest, my dude. I'll come back in the morning. I'm getting rather tired now. I gotta make my thumbnail to my. Gotta set up my render. I just noticed, speaking of Steam games, uh, Cookie Clicker is available on Steam, has been for a little while now. I am currently, I currently have Cookie Clicker running in the background of this game because I am now obsessed with it. Have been rather obsessed with it. It's, it's astounding. I love it. Ah, uh, Lorelai says, when it feels like you hear about an indie game, it's because it has gotten a fair amount of love. Exactly. Yeah, I feel like some, like, at least in one case, I specifically call out Moonwave Overdrive because I think it's got a lot of heart to it. And I think it's just a single guy working on it. Or make a single set of guys in Australia working on it. And I feel like, I feel like it needs some more. I feel like there's not enough stuff on that. Like, I feel like Cyberpunk 2077 really, really took off. And yet, I don't think a lot of people are like, maybe it's just because a lot of people aren't into that Cyberpunk genre. And really... It's not cyberpunk per se. It's just, it's got that cruising through a city with a bunch of neon lights vibe. And like the dialogue that happens is rather cyberpunky, sort of kind of. I really didn't get deep into the, into the dialogue, but it feels that way. But like, you know, the more, the more we play, the more we give attention to this stuff, the more limelight it gets. And I think the more it is deserved. I, I don't know. I think that's cool. If I can do my part to kind of bring some, bring some blah, Bring some yah, wah, whatever to a game that the world should see, then I think that's a good thing. I don't know. I always thought to myself, like, if I could support, I, 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 as I usually think, if I can support other people, I'd, I'd love to do so. If I can. And I, I can't always. But if I can, then that that is a thing that I would like to do. And, and honestly, for, let's say, a struggling game, game designer who 
just needs somebody to play their game and say something good about it or give some positive feedback or even like constructive criticism then i think that's helping i th i think that's really helping like i like to be able to i mean honestly sometimes these i actually what i did the other day is i played um there was this demo i think i got an email from humble bundle or something about this demo for a game called arch veil arch is in like the golden arches and veil is in like the veil of not the veil of darkness no not that kind of veil veil is in like winter veil or green veil or whatever veil like that that type of veil and that it was pretty cool. I played the demo of it. I, apparently there, there's a whole beta out on Steam right now. And I don't know if I really want to drop a thing on it. But it was kind of like a, it was like a roguelike craft. Like you could craft in it. It was like a roguelike type thing. Dungeon crawling, roguelike craft things. I thought that was pretty cool. Wow. Everybody thought it was a great sermon. There are so many people in my church now. Oh, so faithful. That was a lot of money. Oh yeah, go ahead everybody. Keep on it going. Pop your tips in the jar. Thank you, pals. Thank you, pals. Very appreciated. Result success. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, incense burn. And incense burn. I am at 50. Look at how 50 I am. Epic. Bishop, tell me. Look at how beautiful my church is. Look how beautiful the church is. <laughs> Literally. This is all local materials, except the silk for the benches. I bought that from my friend Merchant. Uh, there's no silk on the benches. Newsflash. Your friend the Merchant. Ah, uh, those merchants, personally, I'd banish them from the kingdom, the whole lot of them. They truly are the distributors of sin, merchants, actors, doctors. The church already provides everything they offer, only holy and more righteous. All right, I've seen enough. I'd say this church is ready to become a cathedral. Wow, cathedral time. Oh, I got shit in my inventory. Um, gonna put some stuff downstairs. Gonna put my faith in the basement. I put my faith in the basement. There we go. Put that prayer in the basement. I also wanted to research something. What do I want to research? What do I want to research? I got things worth researching. Like this. Research, damn you! Give me all the red points! I think it's all just red points from here, but alas, good stuff. Lorelai's aware of a Skyrim mod that became its own game recently. Game is called The Forgotten City. Was recommended for it being a time loop. Find a way to save the townsfolk by learning all of their stories. Mystery game like Outer Worlds, Outer Wilds meets Paradise Killer. There's just so many games. That's cool. I feel like I've heard of that one before. Specifically, it was called... What was it called? The Forgotten City. I feel like I've heard of that one before. I think a buddy of mine who is really, really into Skyrim, I think, told me about that one. She's really, really into Skyrim mods, too, specifically, I think. Um, but yeah. Interesting. I got a story, and I think I'm ready to become... Oh, that was a good story. Huh! I'm ready to become a th cathedral. Okay, how do I do it? I'm looking for a certain... Oh, so about the cathedral. Okay, nothing. I'm looking for a certain mirror. You holiness, I believe you might have a mirror of pride. I need it. In fact, my whole life depends on it. Ah, oh, my precious mirror. How many speeches have I rehearsed as I looked into it? That mirror helped me understand how important appearances are to your career. I'm glorious because of this mirror. I've had it, I've had it since my childhood. From rags to riches. <laughs> Oh, this mirror gave me the confidence to accomplish all of my dreams. Maybe at this point of my greatness, I don't even need it anymore. Who knows? Maybe one day I'll give it to you. Once I don't need any more proof. I need a hundred. Okay. All right. Okie dokie, artichokey. Gotta get more of that, apparently. Could the graveyard be any better? Am I ready for the cathedral? I need... I feel like I need building permits for the cathedral. Maybe? Okay, let's see. Rightful... Aristocrat? Aristocrat? No. Uh, uh, rightful citizen? No. Citizen? No. Okay, I guess he doesn't have anything to tell me about the cathedral yet. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Cathedral? Maybe I can build it here? No, I really can't. Alrighty then. Well, whatever then. Alright, well, feels good to me. Feels good to me. Alrighty then. I think that is where. We're gonna call it for the day. Thank you, everybody, for coming on. I think the church looks very, very pretty now. We've made a few more monies. It's all about business with the merchant, of course. Not too, too much progress, but alas, it was, it was fun. About a third of this, about an hour of this was spent on cocktail alone. I had a blast with that. I really gotta need another cocktail night. Need another cocktail day. Gotta have more stuff fun like that. Anyway, it has been lovely. 
Oh my goodness. Thank you. Every nope. Please wake up. Please wake up. Thank you. Thank you for please waking up. Thank you for waking up, please Lee. Anyway, it was awesome. Thank you everybody so much for coming along. It was a blast. Uh, I'll be posting the cocktail recipe afterwards. It'll be great. I'll see y'all next week with some Hollow Nights. Uh, yeah, it was good. Thanks. Thanks for coming along, everybody. Good times. Good times all around. Always good times. Good times. I love my little box here. I love my little, I love my little bubble here. Wouldn't it be creepy if I could like breach from like I uh, reach out of here and like wow there I am anyway aside from that it's been great I appreciate all of your presence thank you for being along hope all goes well for Anna and I it'll be a wonderful wonderful rest of the week it's been a good week so far and I'm sure it will continue as such I will see you all next week with some hollow night hopefully a lot, a lot more screaming a lot more screaming than this game. This scream, this this game is the relaxing one. Hollow Knight is the not so relaxing one. And we'll see what comes in between. To everybody, make sure you have a wonderful rest of your evening. If it's the evening where you are, it is it is evening for me. A wonderful rest of the twilight, the dawn, however long it'll last for you. I don't know what time zone you're in, but the party must continue wherever you are. It's just how it be. Party on, my friends. Continue, continue. Here, I love my little party horn to this off. Bye, y'all.